um, I got my Xbox for multiplats. Actually, mm-hmm. that that that's not even a choice. It's not like you're not you're not choosing to do that. That choice is being done for you at this it, point. You exactly, know? exactly. I agree one thousand percent, and that's why I'm sitting up there and I'm like, okay, so are we serious right now? Is this what we're gonna be mad about? And I'm and and all the people that I see joining in the fuckery, they're all mad about the exact same thing how in the hell are you as a market leader how in the hell are you gonna let somebody else dictate what you do with your platform why in the world would you make it easier for people to access your consumer base that you work with that you work for come on out of the gate playstation hit the ground running xbox made mistake after mistake after mistake not only that they got a second chance by being able to go and revision hardware after Sony revisioned their hardware. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you mean to tell me you're going to get an unfair advantage, right? And then I'm going to let you have access to my customers? I mean, come on, dog. Let's be serious. This is bullshit. Yeah, Actually, you, see, you see what I'm saying? I, the, the problem is a lot of these dudes trying to redefine what anti-consumerism is. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. What's truly the most, I would say the biggest thing that's a disservice to any consumer is freaking lack of competition. I, I, I constantly tell people, look at the cable and in the industry, the industry went kumbaya. They no longer compete with each other. And because they no longer compete with each other, they pretty much decide which service goes to which region and they don't compete for the same regions. Exactly. So, like, like when I was living in North Carolina, the only available um, provider of high-speed internet was Time Warner. There was no Comcast. There was no Verizon Files. There was no Cox Cable. There was no Optum Online. It was Time Warner. If you didn't get Time Warner, then you had to go to CenturyLink, and the fastest thing they provided was 20 megs. Right. That, you know, why? Because Time Warner is Kumbaya with Charter, Kumbaya with every other. You know what I'm saying? They all agree which regions to get because they kumbaya now. They're all friends. They all share whatever. And in the end, we get screwed. You know what I'm saying? We don't get competitive pricing and stuff like that. I don't want Sony to be nice. You no, know, people are like, oh, I thought you were for the players. Yeah. When Sony says you're for the players, it's for the people who buy their shit. Exactly. Sony doesn't Back. give a fuck about Switch players or fucking Microsoft players or PC players. That's Microsoft's problem. You know what I'm saying? Let Microsoft take care of Xbox gamers. Let Nintendo take care of Nintendo gamers. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, each and everybody take care of your own goddamn platform and gaming will thrive. One of the best generations of gaming was Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo because they gave no fucks about each other. They went at it to provide the best platform and try to make the other platform look like shit. And what ended up Two of the well, because you know, two of the most best consoles of all time was in the hands of gamers simply yep. because each company was determined to make the other one look stupid. That's how we benefit, you know. Yep. If Microsoft spent less time kumbayaing and more time, like you know what, we're gonna fuck up Sony and we're gonna thrash the shit out of them with games and everything, maybe this gen would be a lot better for them. Yep. But everybody's begging for scraps and handouts and also only please all oh, people gonna do something. No, you know what? I, I don't even get you know, I'll be honest, I don't give a shit about what a bot says until they address the problems on their own platform. Why the fuck is Microsoft making games for PC and not put it on Xbox? Gears Tactics is exclusive to PC. How the fuck does the company who manufactures a box Keeps games away from their own box. That shit is wild. It is. I don't get that. Like, so I'm going to buy a box, and you're telling me the people who made the box and I gave my money to ain't giving me their games? They're putting it on their platform? And the fucking damage control is, well, we wouldn't buy it anyway. Motherfuckers didn't buy fucking Record either. Motherfuckers didn't buy Super Lucky's Tales. Motherfuckers didn't buy... Goddamn fucking phantom phantom dust with original assets. And motherfuckers, how many times people have told you I don't give a shit about backwards compatibility because I don't buy that? And what's their answer? Well, it's an option. It's yeah, option, it's all. An option. Well, isn't Gears <laughs> Tactics on a fucking Xbox One an option to play? That's an option, isn't it? If you don't like it, cool. Who the fuck actually likes Sea of Thieves? 
You see what I'm saying? Yep. Listen, when I saw that Microsoft conference, that conference told me, Porter Rock, you might not want to get a next generation Xbox. You might want to start considering PC. Yep. Because on that platform, you are guaranteed to get every single Xbox title. Listen, my guy, I already got a beefy PC. You know what I'm saying? Decided to be, I decided to instead, because I was actually on the fence, right? I've owned two Xbox One Xs this generation, right? And I ended up getting rid of both of them. I mean, again, people going to sit up here and a lot of you all day tell you that these Multiplast is just so much more superior on that platform. They're fucking lying, dude. They're absolutely fucking lying. Oh. Now, besides that, besides that, right? So I was watching the conference and I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try to my, I'm going to try my best to see if there's something that's going to convince me to get another Xbox because the money isn't the issue. That's yeah. not the issue. The issue is when I bought an Xbox, it did more sitting than playing. And that's <laughs> that's no seriously and and that I can't do because if I'm not using the system, dude, let me explain something to you, Porter Rock. I got three Xbox 360s. I have the original Xbox. I've never got rid of any of those, but I damn sure got rid of my Xbox One X because it was absolutely pointless to have that fucking box. Everything that's on that box, I can play on PC, which I have a PC, and I can also play on PlayStation because they're putting so much emphasis on multiplats. If you're going to put emphasis on multiplats, then guess what? The best experience is always going to be on PC. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hands down. It's never going to be a, it, it's not going to even be close, which is why they're in the midst of making another console because the X didn't give it to you. <laughs> what's going on, Craig okay, Harris? What's up, brother? What's going on, Porter Rock? Thanks for the vine, brother. How's things in Germany? I saw you eating. Chocolate bun buns earlier. Oh, so it was our uh, Brookside chocolate man. That shit's delicious, man. I, I was just there waiting for my wife because we went out for a little bit, and I was just sitting there reminiscing. I'm thinking, man, <laughs> Xbox One X really fucking failed, didn't it? This motherfucking yes, console was fucking bombed. You yes, know what I'm saying? bombed, bro. You, you know, know what I'm saying? All, all fanboys should decide. The fact of the matter is that people will not. They they they'll never give in and actually admit. That that's what it is. It well, feels so hard that Microsoft is begging Sony to play with them. The fuck? Microsoft, the elite company, the $750 billion company is begging for people to crossplay. And Nintendo sitting back like, nigga, I'm finna <laughs> ride this wave. Like, hell yeah, we want to crossplay. Bitch, we ain't got nobody who play this shit. So, yes, we want to play with PC. Yes, we want to play with Xbox. Why? Because it adds value to their service. It yeah. adds value to their service when they drop it in September. Yeah. They're going to be able to advertise. You can play these games across platforms. It's a selling point to some, right? It may be. Ultimately, it be. Yeah, the console failed. Uh, what it what it did do was it provided great hardware where they dropped the ball was the software so uh yeah it's a it's a failure i tweeted that earlier if you know the xbox x is so is so good that there's people talking about the next xbox so this pretty much undercuts what the xbox x was intended for you know so, what i'm not even sure anymore if it's great hardware i'm not sure anymore because you got something like the PlayStation 4 Pro, which on paper is much weaker console, right? It's a much weaker console on paper when you look at it, right? Why is it that the Xbox isn't present isn't producing anything on the level of what we're getting from Sony Studios? Well, I can say that the reason why it is great hardware, but the problem is, and this is this is where we can't damage control. And I know, and I got, and I know there's gonna be. Xbox dudes listening to my podcast and they're gonna think, oh, this became a fanboy podcast. They're talking shit. I'm gonna teach you the proof too. You know what I'm saying? Because no matter what, yeah, I like PlayStation and all that, but I'm here to teach y'all motherfuckers, right? Xbox does have great hardware, but hardware will never win on its own, bro. People have to accept Xbox One X failed because Phil failed the console. Phil Spencer failed it, all right? All right. so a lack you of have the best design gun, but your dumbass forgot to bring the fucking bullets. 
<laughs> you designed the best sniper rifle in the entire world, but no fucking bullets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, you understand I just what I'm think. saying? I could take a shitty sniper rifle and I will kill you because I got bullets. It's loaded. Xbox One X is not loaded. Phil failed the console. He had no concept of what. To, and the funny part is, the dude came. He was originally in charge of first party games. That was his thing. If anything, what you McCoy, it's kind of like football, right? When you got a, a defensive coordinator, right? And he gets promoted to coach, the team's going to be a defensive-minded team because that's why he's bringing. That's why he knows. So he needs, you know, a good offensive coordinator. Phil, his job was first-party games. So I don't know how he fucked this up. That should have been his forte. In fact, that should have been his thing. The moment he took over, he's like, yo, I'm, I'm the boss now. Let's get these games popping. Oh, but, 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 Phil, you know, we have the hardware. Yeah, 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 good. Put, put Johnny over there on the hardware. Whatever the fuck. Make it powerful. Make it do 4K. You know, it's fucking easy. It's not that goddamn hard. You, do you really need me to fucking figure this shit out? No, okay, good. But about these goddamn games, all right? Now that I'm in charge, there was shit that... Didn't get green lighted. There was shit that got canceled because I didn't have the power to say no. But now that I'm the fucking man, this is what we're gonna do with these games. That match it canceled this. That match it canceled my Halo MMO. We bringing that motherfucker back. Donnie D ain't here near. He can't cancel shit no more. I'm the fucking man. You know what I'm saying? When I was the first party, I wanted to do this. Donnie D said no. I wanted to do that. Donnie D say no. Donnie D ain't here. I'm the fucking man. I want this game. I want that game. I want that Hello MMO done now. Make it fucking happen. Get this shit rolling. But, but Phil, Elite Controller, oh, put fucking Ricardo on that shit. I don't give a fuck here. Here, <laughs> fucking Ricardo, take care of that shit. Where are my fucking games at? Because this is my shit. I'm the fucking dude that brings the games. That's my forte. That's what I've been doing for 10, 15 years. Well, you know, I, think that, well I just think that... Um, I mean, to make a long story short, they they almost got rid of that division. So that division had to prove they could make money. They did it by incorporating Windows. I, I look at the Xbox X compared to the Xbox One, the Xbox that came out in 13. Uh, just like I would look at the PS5 when it comes out, I would compare that to the PS4, the original PS4, like the one you got, Porter Rock. And just to ask myself, is this a generational leap? over the ps4 maybe not the pro or you know whatever the xbox is going to be with that said i just think that now you got to pay the bills uh porter rock but real quick i'll just simply say that uh it's yeah it's a failed console uh it's not a bad console it's just it failed so it, it is what it is he called the raven gotta... the raven flow shout out to raven flow thank you so much for the super chat it took Fortnite for Sony to take the fall for shit Microsoft started. Sony's wrong, but that's how it is. Don't start it if you can't take it. Tell you the truth, Sony's not going to take the fall for that. I'm yeah. telling you, it, nothing's going to happen out of this whole Fortnite thing. It's not. Not that fucking damage control and all that shit. I'm going to tell you why. Because the majority of the people only own a PlayStation. <laughs> so, like, like, there's 80 million PlayStations out there, and there's, like, 18 million Switches, right? And a good half, at least half of the Switches... Are just straight up Nintendo dudes that don't play on anything else. Yeah. So like, who's really who's really fucking in the shitstorm over this? Most people don't even own the Switch and a PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying here's the thing. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna play devil's advocate on this part, all right? I'm I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Okay. I'm going to say that it is fucked up what Sony's doing in this particular case, only because it's something different than the others. I get what you guys are saying, but hear me out. This is why I'm gonna play devil's advocate on this one, all right? Because the real issue is Epic in their third-party account, whatever it's called, Epic's game account, whatever, that account has the ability to transition from platform to platform, except for Sony. Once you link it to Sony, that's it. That account is locked. If you take that account and do it to any other platform, whether it's PC, Xbox, or Switch, it is not locked. PlayStation is the only platform that will lock your epic account. I will say that's fucked up because there's already precedence specifically to the epic third party account, an account that Sony doesn't own that is transferable with, regardless of whatever platform. You could transfer it to iOS, 
You could do it to Android. You could go from Android to iOS. You could go to iOS to Switch, Switch to Xbox, Xbox to PC, PC back to Android. This whole bunch of families of operating systems, you could go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Once you tie that to Sony, that's it. Sony took it over. It's theirs now. That's why I say in this particular case, and in this particular case, Sony, I think that's fucked up. Sony shouldn't be locking down something that doesn't belong to them. I don't think that third-party account belongs to them. Now, here's the solution. I will say this is a solution, all right? Because, because again, Sony is a company investing their own interest, right? I would say Sony fixes it, right? But if there were about their own stuff, their own things that came from their platform, then when you unlink it from the PlayStation account, you are not able to take the stuff you specifically purchased from the Sony account. Meaning if you brought these shirts, hats, guns, that shit stays on your PSN ID. Yeah, go fine. Go take your account, do your level. If you're level 230, fine. You're 230, you got 1,000 wins. Whatever fuck you did, yeah, that goes with you on Xbox, whatever. It could go back and forth. But what's not going to go back and forth is the content that was bought on the PlayStation Store. Whatever content that was bought on the PlayStation Store, that shit stays on the store. You're not going to go with you, especially if Sony arranged exclusive content on the PlayStation Store. You ain't taking it. You could take everything else, but this stays here. And when you come back, you once again have access to all this other stuff that you've only bought. That I could understand. But to lock out the third-party account in total... I have to say that is kind of shady because no other platform. I'm not just talking about Xbox. I'm also including Android and I, wherever Fortnite's played, none of them is doing it because they see it as their account belongs to Epic. It's their account. It's their fucking program. It's is not, it? you know what I'm saying? Okay. It, is, it is their own program. Okay. That, I'll that's, why, that. that's why I play third party av um, devil's advocate on that. Okay. Well, I want to counter that with Show me any other game that does allow you to do that. That's why I'm no, that's why I'm telling you this is specific to Epic. That's what I'm saying. This is in case of Epic, because only Epic is doing this. No one else is really doing this. There is no EA access or Ubisoft. What is it? UB Play. None of them are doing that at all. You understand know what I'm saying? But what exactly. I mean is, but yeah, but none of them is doing it on any platform. Meaning so you mean if, they if, should if, follow if, the trend just because other uh, platforms are following the trend? No, That's because, what Sony should do. No, no. But I'm, what I'm saying is, everybody, the platform for this specific account, right? Epic said this is what we want our account to do, right? This is our account. We want our account to be available on all cross platforms. Everybody else has said fine, Epic. That's how you want it. It's your account. Cool. There you go. We won't fuck with it. Sony said, "Nah, fuck that. We ain't doing that." Well, Porter Rock, let me ask you this. You should re-upload that video you did um, when Fortnite was free. It's still free on the PlayStation, but it's you got to pay for it on the Xbox. Why, are, why aren't they doing oh, their Oh, I've been, I've been doing that shit. Listen, this is my, this is, you know what? This is my whole thing about anti-consumerism. For all the dudes that are, are anti-consumerism activists, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Well, oh, here's the thing. Here's every, the, thing. The, the only ones I won't hold up. The only ones I won't say shut the fuck up are the ones that are true anti-consumer activism activists, and they will call out every platform. The ones that says, "Hey, what Microsoft is doing is bullshit. What Sony is doing is bullshit. What Nintendo is doing is bullshit. What what Android is doing is bullshit. What iOS is doing is bullshit." Those guys, cool. I have no issue with you. Because you guys are, you're going to flag every fucking device everywhere. You ain't fucking around with no bullshit. You are true anti-consumer activism. But when I see a dude back, man, Sony's fucked up, they ain't doing this. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know fucking Microsoft's the only one that charges people to play fucking Fortnite, right? Ah, it doesn't matter. If you can't afford 60 bucks, that's not my problem. Oh, get the fuck <laughs> out of here, dog. Get out of here. You're done. Go away. You, you, you're just another Xbox cock rider. Go away. I ain't dealing with you. You understand know what I'm saying? Well, what about, and that's hey, how I feel. Hey, sick, you would enjoy this one. I had somebody today on Twitter say Sony lost money because of the Fortnite thing, that their stock dropped. And I said, okay, you do know that a for-profit company can't report earnings until Friday after the bill. Today is Thursday, which means you're an effing liar. Right. So, I mean, they it's just... They are going to say, I said, how about, I said, where's your righteous indignation for the fact that I got to pay to play Fortnite on this ridiculous Xbox, but it's free. 
on the PlayStation? Where's your anti-consumer at? They hadn't heard anything from him since. Listen, so. all of this is simply Microsoft doing what Microsoft does. Microsoft is trying to play chess with Sony right now. Let me explain to you why. Just give me like two minutes to explain why. Microsoft doesn't really give a fuck about crossplay with Sony. You know why they don't give a fuck about crossplay with Sony? Because you already have mobile, you already have the Switch, you already have PC. This is all about perception at this point. If y'all don't believe it, it is what it is. So it's Microsoft knowing that Sony isn't finna take the bait and do it, but they want them to not do it because then they could turn around and say, well, you see, you can't do this on the PlayStation, but come on over here to Xbox. You can do it there. That's yeah. the whole point of this charade. This is <laughs> not about actually getting Sony to do crossplay. It's about making Sony to be the bad guy. Well, of course. That's exactly what it is. It has nothing to do with crossplay. Now, Sony and I mean Nintendo and Microsoft has a vested interest in crossplay. Why? Because their player base is not extensive as mm -hmm. Sony's player base is. That's just what it is. Now, what what confuses the fuck out of me, right? What confuses the fuck out of me is the simple fact, the simple fact, Porter Rock, that build, it was up. all about PUBG a month ago. Yeah, Fort Pub. Yeah. No, you know what's funny? Yeah. You know, these bots didn't care about Fortnite. They said the game sucks. No more Fortnite, Fortnite is kidding. Fortnite they said it's kidding. He's kidding. Yeah. Who cares? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But come on, dog. Like, you don't have to be a psychic to see through oh, all of this BS, bro. You don't have to be a psychic to see through the BS. You just have to be able to think logically. And all of the idiots on Twitter are being used as pawns to, to, to basically blow this up. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess somebody's saying, Halo Storm saying there's damage control. Crossplay should be a Standard Sony's holding back developers. No, I mean Halo Storm. Sony does do crossplay. They do it with PC. So go on and somewhere. Mobile. Yep. And mobile. Yeah, and mobile. they and just mobile. don't do it with their direct competitors because yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, they're not going to do it with the direct competitor because it uh, it dilutes down competition. It basically tears down the wall to go ahead and have consoles. And this, you can just, uh, and that's what Microsoft needs. It's not a matter of wants. They need that going forward to survive. Okay, they need it going forward to survive. I mean, within the console space. That's why they're going to have a streaming service that's going to be everywhere. It'll be everywhere because that's that's where they're going. So I'm not going to. Hold on, I want to do a shout out to Carlos Fernandez. What's up, brother? Como tal, mano? He says Fortnite D's nuts. There are at least nine free to play <laughs> titles that are also on PC. Xbox do not compute common sense. P Rock, que lo que manito. It's true. There's a whole bunch of free to play games on fucking what you call it, um, on um, PlayStation that you don't need to, um, you don't need to have Xbox Live to play the games. You know what I'm saying? This is what's funny. This is what's funny. All right, here's what's funny. So, you know, so Microsoft just recently announced um, Elder Scrolls Online is on Game Pass, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you pay month to month, you have access to Elder Scrolls Online. But you need Xbox Live Gold to actually play the online portion of it, which is an MMO game, right? On PlayStation, you don't need PSN Plus for Elder Scrolls. So Microsoft is actually double dipping on this game. They get a month to month subscription rate. And they get the Xbox Live Gold to play Elder Scrolls. When in fact on PlayStation, all you got to do is just buy the game once, which is probably like 15 bucks by now, one time, and then that's it. Oh, but the anti-consumerism. You see what I'm saying? They're double dipping on a game that they shouldn't be double dipping on. Because yep. you can't play it without gold. But come on, you know they hold Sony to so a different So you have a standard. subscription to Game Pass, and you need a subscription to gold to play Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But these dudes don't see that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, tell me that shit's not wild. And people don't see it. People don't notice these little details and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. anyway, you know, we're gonna talk more about this. Let's let's talk about the last of us sold 17 million. Oh fucking copies. Ouch. Ouch. Let me show you how how let me show you how dumb these dudes are, right? 
<laughs> I post, I retweeted the fucking, excuse my language. I retweeted, um, I'm trying to keep the cursing down. I retweeted Naughty Dog's thing, right? And of course I popped my stuff, right? Somebody replies, well, was well, that 17 million sales? Cause, cause Naughty Dog didn't specify. It could be from PS now. I'm like, what? bro, click on the picture. The picture says 17 million sold. <laughs> you, like, like, these dudes can't even look at a picture now. Porter Rock, Porter Rock. When has Sony ever used PlayStation Now numbers? I don't know, man. Sony doesn't talk about nothing from PlayStation. No, 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 no. Ever. He's, he's thinking, he's trying to equate Sony to Xbox, which it lets you know that he knows those analytics that that Microsoft give out. Yeah, he was he, 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 he was already he was already he was already to get his um what you call it his nonprofit work on to defend <laughs> Game Pass. Yeah, let me let me show y'all something. Yo, these dudes these dudes is wild. Let me share my screen. Yo, these dudes is wild right here. Check this out, right? So I send it right. This is my tweet, right? Where's the where's the where's the dude that? Let me show you the dude that. Yo, this dude's funny, man. Where is he? Where's he at? Blue something. Blue man, this dude's funny. Here he is. They didn't mention sales. Are they including people who play this game on PS now? Because you know PS fanboys go crazy asking those kinds of questions when Xbox uses these types of wording. And I'm like, you bought to something else. It's in the damn picture. Everybody sees my screen? Yep. Right there, over 17 million copies sold. <laughs> like, wow. what are we like? What are we doing here, bro? Like, yo, these dudes, yo. See, if if, if people haven't noticed, Sony's direct with their shit. They're not doing this four million players and all this dumb crap. They tell you the sales of their games because they want to tell the public the success of the game. Right. You know, when you when you when when people are ambiguous. Then the game's really not that successful. If you have to be ambiguous, just say it straight up. Just say what the game did. And that's it. You know? And some people be like, oh, why do you care about sales? Well, if you care about franchises, if you care about sequels, it usually results in good sales. Look at Neo 2. Why do you think we got Neo 2 for? If we ain't getting Neo 2 because the game flopped. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Von Lamont gave you uh, pay the bills for the ride for Von. Okay, Von. Oh, oh, okay. Von Lamont, what's up, my brother? Here we go. Hey, thank you for the shout out, man. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the support. He goes, What about these Xbox trying to damage kill Spider Man saying it looks like any other Spider Man? Come on, yeah, what? <laughs> right, what y'all think about that? How 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 do I mean with that? Crazy. What do y'all think about that? Yo, crazy. yo, that's crazy, bro. That is yeah. crazy. No, my avatar does not have on lipstick, bro. What the hell are you talking about? What, what, what happened? <laughs> Can you talk about it? Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It? Dark Hold on. Who was it? Beats and games or some shit like that? Beats and yeah. games. So you were talking about lipstick and purple contacts. <laughs> that purple contacts. Jesus. Okay, <laughs> stick, stick. Explain to this cat in the chat why <laughs> Microsoft wants no. crossplay. Microsoft because doesn't I actually want crossplay. Not at not with Sony anyway. Um, but 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 let me step out of that and let's just say for a second they do want crossplay. Well, it's just indicative of the amount of players that they have. I mean, what else reason would you want to crossplay? Mm. I mean, it's right. a good it's, it's a good it's a good selling point, you know what I'm saying? Here's the thing, it's a win-win for Microsoft fighting this point. Number one, if Sony doesn't do crossplay, they could make Sony look like the bad guy, right? Number mm -hmm. two. If Sony does do crossplay, now Microsoft can advertise that you can buy an Xbox One and still play with your PS4 friends, mm -hmm. which takes away from an advantage Sony built by becoming the number one market share console. So it's a win-win mm -hmm. for Microsoft. Whatever decision Sony does, um, what you call it, it's a it's a win for Microsoft. But here's the thing, though: which is the greater, which is the less impact, right? Obviously, saying no, we're not doing crossplay is the less impact of the two. Why? Because most people don't give a fuck about playing on Xbox. Most PlayStation right. gamers give two shits on playing on Xbox. I've been to the forums. You understand what I'm saying? Some of these dudes, listen, I've been to the forums on PlayStations and stuff like that, of course, and talking about it. And I injected it, but like, yo, I think it's a good idea, um, you know, for crossplay. See, you know, get a feeler out. And you know how all these dudes reply to me? They'd be like, yo, why would you want to play with a group of dudes that are racist to the games that we like? These dudes say that we play, these dudes call us pedophiles. They say jab crap. 
You know what I'm saying? They say we fucking, you know, do weird shit with kids simply. And that's right. why we play these games. Why would I want to play with such a toxic community? He goes, I not only do I not want to play with them. I don't even want an Xbox in my house. I don't want to hear their voices. I don't even want any word with the letter X in my house. So I'm Same thing. Want nothing to do with Xbox. It's community. It's people. Nothing. They don't want nothing to do with that. With that company with that device with the games that comes out with the people on it they give two shits about it you know what i'm saying they don't even want to play with them on pc they could give two they don't a lot of these guys give two shits about the microsoft games coming on pc they don't care about these dudes you know what i'm saying so that's mm -hmm. the less of the two evils most of these dudes don't really care about um what you call it of that now to answer van Lamont's question what about these bots trying to damage close spider-man saying it looks like any other spider-man of course they're gonna say that what choice do they have <laughs> you know what that is these dudes before the exclusive announcement they were all about spider-man this their favorite franchise they loved every game even the corny ones that were crap they loved it but now that it became exclusive to playstation now it's a problem oh this one looks kind of corny or oh, looks boring oh it looks like a, a swinging Simulation that they, they make all you, you want me to tell you what the issue is though, Porter Rock. The issue is not necessarily the people saying it, but the people giving credence to what these people are saying. Okay, yeah, I'm not giving credence, I just know for the haters that they are. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just that's just that's just the reality. I, I recognize the realness for the real and shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. I recognize the bullshit. I you know what I'm saying, like me. I, I, you know, I throw down in this council world bullshit, you know, but to me, it's just fun jokes and, you know, talking shit and, you know, jibber jabbing and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when we talk gaming and we need to talk knowledge, I fucking drop knowledge. I'm not going to fucking lie and make up shit just to continue the council world. That doesn't make no sense. You know, shout out to Carlos Fernandez, $10 super chat. Thank you for the super chat, brother. I nominate Frag Buddy and all you Xbox that want this work on Twitter. You all can get the privilege to become CSA Rookies of the Year. Let's get hey, it. Let's I ain't going to even lie. Carlos be going, man, he be battling hard with these dudes, man. No, because he's tired of the shit, man. He's like, he sees the bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see know, you know what I'm saying? He's tired of the bullshit. That's just... Well, yeah. I believe if, if a lot of them, if a lot of them would just shut up. Yo, all day, get your, get your punk ass in here. Why are you in the chat, God damn it? You ain't, yeah, you ain't a know. fucking chat member. You, you're a fucking panel member. Yeah, you if a lot of them would just shut up, and a lot of stuff would just wouldn't care. I mean, the whole thing with the media covering the whole, the, again, the whole crossplay thing is that the way they are covering it is that Sony won E3, and this is kind of throwing mud on their win. I mean, every the at least the media sources that I've read, you know, okay. even even Screen Rant was saying, yeah, this is not that big a deal, but it kind of does make. Like you were saying, sick, uh, kind of makes Sony look like the bad guy. With that said, they've sold close to what 78, 80 million consoles without crossplay, so they don't need it. It's mm -hmm. not, they, they, also, <laughs> they, they also did it, Craig, without having to throw shots every five minutes. Microsoft yeah. is always on the defensive because they have nothing. They have nothing to showcase their most powerful console in the world. They have nothing that gives you any interest in buying their most powerful console in the world. It is an obsolete piece of machinery. And the, the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. Ever since the X came out, it's been constant L's across the board. <laughs> It's been constant L's. I mean, I know, seriously. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got one it's sitting here. It's got a giant L on it. <laughs> you, you can tell me that your Lamborghini is as fast as you want to, as fast as you want to say it is. But if everybody around here buying Hondas and Nissans, what good is it? What good is the most? What what good is the fastest car? If everybody is like, you know what? I'm just gonna go buy this Honda. I'm just gonna go buy this this Toyota. Like. I don't need the Lamborghini. Hell, I can't afford the Lamborghini. Yeah. Well, I don't disagree with it. <laughs> I mean, just being able to say you got the most powerful console, see, that is good if you have something to showcase that. In this case, there's nothing showcasing that. Matter of fact, 
the PlayStation is actually showcasing that it seems to be the most powerful one because everybody's still trying to figure out how Sony's doing it. It's getting so bad to the, to the point where people saying Ghost of Tsushima was running on the PC. Have they not learned anything from God of War? I saw that. Yeah, hold on. What do you think about that? <laughs> the what? There's people, uh, I don't know if it was Ghost, yeah, he's right about Ghost of Tsushima, but I saw some people literally saying that um, that the uh, PlayStation game, uh, The Last of Us 2, was right. Oh, that is fake. Game. Oh, no, and those two, it's fake animation. It's not real gameplay. I'm oh, like, yeah, bro, these, these dudes. Uh, JD Gamer, JD Gamer, <laughs> JD Gamer. These, JD these, Gamer. These, these dudes, these dudes are off the hook, whatchamacallit. Um, that's just a testament to Naughty Dog, bro. You can't beat that shit. When people think what they've shown is fake, Bah. <laughs> bah. Now, now hear, hear, hear this. JD Gamer just said, because he called me out on this, he said, but come on, sick, you got to be factual. Gears 4 and 5 looks awesome. Okay, so why is there games on the PlayStation that look better? It's just talent. Man, Gears, 5, Gears 5 had no gameplay. It just had a CGI trailer. It Yo. looked just like Gears 4. Oh they shit! Have a, they have a the game play look, 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 we got, man. We got, we got. Fuck boy yeah. Supreme up in this motherfucker. My, real, my, 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 man up in here with champagne taste, but beer money. You know how I'm rocking. <laughs> you, know, you, know rockin'. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Say? Grand opening, grand <laughs> closing. more candy and money. Hey, hey, Z. Hey, yeah, Z. yeah. See, I knew all the day wasn't doing shit at work. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Fuck it. Oh, I'm at work. Hey, Z. <laughs> hey, Z, how hey, much does it cost? Oh, a thousand dollars, G. <laughs> a thousand dollars, <laughs> yo. Yo, these motherfuckers are here, bro. Yo, what's going on, partners? Good, good to have y'all motherfuckers up in here, bro. Yo, so what you, yo, what you think about this Fortnite bullshit? I know all day laughing. My man was cracking jokes like, oh, yo, man. I just have money on Subway card and I can't use it on Burger King. What the fuck? <laughs> yo, I started dying. <laughs> when they, when when, yo, and all day said that, I'm like, oh, this dude's a fool, bro. My man said, yo, I put money down on my Subway card and Burger King won't take it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is it anti-consumer? Yeah. Everybody got anti-consumer practices, but that ain't got nothing to do with me enjoying my fucking games I want to play, bro. Yo, so oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, at the same time, it's like, I get it. You want your progress to transfer over because you just spent your rent money, your car <laughs> note, on this fucking game, and you feel duped out, right? Well, guess what? <laughs> There's other consoles that offer, you know, cross progression with the cross play. So go play it there. You can play Fortnite on the back of a McChicken. I'm telling you, bro, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's back of my <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So trust me, you will be okay. Trust me. Yo, shout out to Carlo Crespin, man. Five hours. You don't want to do it? Play, play. Yo, five hours super that. He yeah, said 17 okay. million. He said, my, my man said 17 million doesn't mean shit. How many clickers were killed and Molotov's crafted and comics collected? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How many goddamn hot dogs were eating? You know what I'm saying and shit like that. Yo, yo, Z, what you think about this Fortnite bullshit? Uh, uh thank you, um, Sony being cocky. Sony <laughs> being Sony, the Sony of 2006. Oh shit! He's saying yeah. this, these are the motherfuckers that want to make you work two jobs. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> I, it, I was real shit. Like we know, I, I, when it comes to anti-consumerism, Nintendo leads the pack. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, you know what I mean? I, you know it, what's going to happen? Uh, and it's crazy, right? Um. They may take a game like Fortnite, which is probably the biggest game in the world right now, and for gamers to come together and say enough was enough. Because I'm always, trust me, I'm always for the little man. You know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, uh, you know what I mean? I'm a consumer first, but even though I'm not into the Fortnite thing, I think that's bullshit uh, what they're doing. You know what I mean? So, especially if, and again, you would probably think Nintendo would probably be the last motherfucker to get along with some shit like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? But uh, there are people out there that, that are like, like, you know, really pissed off by this. You know what I mean? That has that epic account or whatever the fuck the case is. That you only can have one epic account. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to them and those guys. Even though I'm not into the game, but I think it's fucked up. Shout okay, out to... Okay, and okay. I, I, did, I did mention, I did mention, and I did play as I was advocate. I said earlier before you guys hopped on that I said uh, that I do think this is kind of fucked up also. Only because in this specific, just with the epic account, 
you could take that account and you could put it on iOS, you could put it on Android, you could put it on PC, you could put it on yeah. Switch, you could put it on Xbox, and there's no issues. But once you tie it to Sony platform, that's it. They own it, it's locked, you fucked up, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I said at a minimum, I will say this if Sony had any issues, they should release the lockout, but whatever content you bought on the PSN platform, that you can't take with you. I I understand that. If you bought shit on the PlayStation Store that's tied to your PSN ID, you could take your wins, your losses, your how many kills you got, you know, what level you are. Yeah, take it with you, but you ain't taking the content that you bought from us with you. All right, I could maybe understand that, you know, but if you're the only platform that's locking out this Epic account and nobody, to include phones, to include iOS and Android, they're not even locking it out. Then that shit's gonna look bad on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, if you're worrying about your own exclusive show on your platform, then just lock out the content that was bought on your platform, let everything else go, and then that's it. But, but, but like, what but, 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 other but, account, what other account for what other game, it doesn't matter what game, allows you to carry over your profile? No uh, game, I just can't, I just can't get no, over that. No, here's, 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 the thing, here's, the thing, here's the thing, here's the green. No other game does that. That's true. Exactly, but, but Fortnite does it. So, so just because these competitors decided oh, man, to do it, so iOS, iOS is hey, not. Bro, a competitor. You know hold on, wait, hold on. Like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be double advocate. I'm gonna be double advocate. iOS is not a competitor to PlayStation. Neither no, is Android. And they can all crossplay. No, we're not talking cross. We're not talking. Yeah, yeah, but you could also like eat. Hell, even is iOS not a competitor with Android? Those two are competitors. Yes. Right? That's but yeah, you could still do it between those two platforms. You could take that Epic account and switch between iOS and Android, and those two are competitors. Those two are legit competitors. iOS and Android are legit competitors. iOS is not a competitor to Sony at all, at any realm or any level. But iOS gaming for mobile is a competitor to Android gaming on mobile. Yeah, okay, those two. Let me, let me say this. I'm just being devil's advocate. What the, what other what other Epic okay. game? Allows you to do this. That's the only I, game, no, they that's the only game right that they, they did. That's the only game. That, no, 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 no. This ain't the only games that Epic's got. Well, right now, no, no, that's the only game that they decided well, to well, do. Yeah, what I'm saying is Fortnite's the only game that so far Epic created that is transferable across all platforms. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They haven't implemented that concept in any other game. But uh, who was this talking? Craig or Sikima? Let me do. Let me do Ravenflow. Yo, shout out to Ravenflow. Uh -huh. Five dollar super chat. He says, "Has MS announced a profit for the X before talking about next gen?" Hell, fucking nah. The only thing they announced is how many fucking insulin shocks they've been across the United States. Well, look, hey, <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Diet better gaming well, and shit. Wait, I'm, you did, know, did, rising, did, ri rising type three diabetes. That's the look, only thing that's been this announced. Is the best advice I can give motherfuckers, right? When you wake up in the morning, you get your coffee, and you get your eggs, and your bacon, and your biscuit, right? Right next to you, make sure you have a copied and pasted note. And complaint to Epic, Sony, whoever you need to complain to, send it to Sony, and make sure you do that for sixty-five days straight. <laughs> Why sixty-five days? Just a random number. Oh, yeah. I was like, yo, what the, yo, Carl, I'm say you're better off just sending them an official letter. That way, I they have to I'll say this: talking shit on Twitter ain't gonna help you. Fucking yeah, no. at Sony Run, and just right send it to them. At Sony, send it to Sony. And just keep doing it. You yeah. Don't stop. Eventually, if you believe if, in this, yeah. If you believe in the call they, they're gonna, yeah. right. If you believe in it, at, at Sony and stop playing the PS4 version, and then we'll see what happens. That's really that's really the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'll be honest. You know, here I I I, I feel different about the situation, but my podcast is not going to change the goddamn thing. If you really want change, speak with your money and your time. At Sony, but, send them okay. letters. Don't play the game. And then we'll see what happens in the end. Or go to the next box. That is the simplest. That's the simplest fix to this problem. Get the most powerful console in the world. Or Wait. buy you an Xbox. Hey, yo, that should sound crazy, fan. Like I ain't even both. Like end of the day, Sony fan or whatever. But you always be pro for the consumer. Man, these companies don't give a fuck about none of them. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. They don't. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before we start this boxing match, before we start this boxing match, Carlos yeah, Fernandez, five dollars super chat, basic bitch box, lock paywall for online right. service and gamer yeah, engagement data. Right. Hold on, right. well, it's a basic bitch box, lock paywall for online service and gamer engagement data with hours played on half ported games. Fuck out of here, 30 million in five years, pathetic. That's right, man. It's a fuck boy console. 
And then my man, then my man Stuart Stokes, two dollars. Spread the truth, P Rock. That's all I can do is spread the truth. You know what I'm saying? I got these fuck boys trying to fucking hold me down. Now, just kidding. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got the, got the FN. We got the FN Supreme versus Rastafari. All right, let's go. <laughs> Rastafari. Let's get it. All right, I got. I got a question for you, Z. Right. Okay, so so you're for the little man and, and, and shit like that, right? Okay, get that understood. All right, so when Microsoft holds about games, Microsoft. April, you know you sound like no, no, you, no, sound no, like no, no, no. you sound like crap, this, and I'm this, talking about what Microsoft this, don't. We're talking this, about Sony right now. Fuck with no, Microsoft. No, 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 no. You're for the little man, Z. You're for the little man. So why why is it okay for Microsoft okay? to hold Did I say to, that? Hold, to hold free to play games hostage? Are you saying the paywall? That? No, 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 no. You're for bro. the little man, so you can't be for one situation bro. and not for the next. We're talking about Fortnite. I can't talk about who's starving in Africa. No, 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 no I got motherfuckers hungry in America. We're when I say Fortnite, when you say you're for the little man, bro, you're bro. for the little man in every situation, not just My Fortnite. Man, could we, could we, could we could, listen? Did I say that was right? Did, 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 okay, did so you're not, gonna, you're not gonna ask no, the question. We're talking that's, that's cool about, if you're not. No, that's no, cool. No, no, no. That's listen, cool. Hey, bro, listen, don't play me. That don't lay my bed in this game for a while. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we can get the biggest name. We can cut the bullshit. <laughs> we're talking about this year. And again, I'm not saying I don't give a fuck about Fortnite. So you're only about one situation then? No, you, you only right. care to speak on one situation. You don't care hey, to speak hey, about bro. the overall, the overall hey, situation. Hey, bro. You so you're not for the little man then, uh, bro? What are we talking about? Fortnite? No, 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 no. Okay. You said you're right, for I'm gonna let you go. We, 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 go, go. we can stay together. We can't talk together. So I'm gonna let you get, you, you get speak. Yeah. If I say I'm a man of the people, if I say I'm for the little people, right? I'm for the little people in all effed up situations, not just one effed up situation. You're telling me no. This it. No, we're talking about Fortnite right now. Right now, you're for the people. How can you be for the people, but only for one situation for the people? Okay. My turn. You finished? I'm putting yeah, it so no, you bitches. Right, you, 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 my turn? <laughs> you, you done? Shoot. Okay. All right. Um, as we were saying, we're talking about Fortnite, right? I'm not talking about crossplay. Now I want to state this for the record because you know I don't give a fuck about Fortnite. All right. So I'm gonna make that plain and clear. Clear. I haven't spent any money with Epic. Nothing, right? But again. My grandson, give you an example, loves Fortnite, right? Plays it on the PlayStation 4, right? I'm not even talking about crossplay. So the money, just say for just in the game, because I mean, you know, bought him a little PS card, he bought whatever, or whatever on that Epic account, and it's tied to that PlayStation store where I can, Maya has her a, a Fortnite account on her iPad. She goes from an iPad tablet to an Android tablet, now to even to a Nintendo Switch, and it's not tied. There's no fucking defending that, bro. I'm not even talking about Sony doesn't have to do crossplay. We're just talking about them holding your account hostage. That's what this argument's about. We're not even an argument. I don't even see how you can even defend some shit like that, bro. Like that's this listen what you that's crazy as hell. If Nintendo of all goddamn companies, the, the motherfucker that put the A in anti-consumerism and are, are not tying epic accounts to their platform, bro. That's crazy. Now everybody can't be wrong. You got all so many different platforms. Motherfucking Web OS 3, all types of shit. And nobody locking shit down with Sony. And, it, and, and, and and you're saying that Sony's not in the wrong, but that's crazy as hell. Now, before you okay. talk about what Microsoft did in, in, in South Africa, no, I'm just talking about just right here. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on right now? What are we talking about within the margins? That's wrong. Okay, okay. You finished? No, I'm just saying. I'm, my thing is, though, but how you're saying that Sony's not wrong? Or well, it's not that big of a deal? Are, are you, you know? finished? I'm, I'm asking you a question now. Are you no, no, no. Okay, okay. Let me answer that question like okay. this. First of all, I'm not going to hold Sony to a higher standard than I hold anybody else to a, a to, to the standards that I hold any other company. I'm not going to sit up here and kill Sony for saying no. I want the the accounts that started on my system or the accounts huh? that are linked to my system. I'm, I'm not going to kill them for that. You know why? Because in the same realm, we're not killing Call of Duty. For doing the exact same thing for not letting you take over your progress from one game to the next we're not killing microsoft for holding your game just pay attention bro no, just pay I, attention I, I, it'll I, all make sense in just a few not. seconds it'll all make sense in just a few seconds 
How are you going to kill one company for some shit that's happening, but not kill the next company for the exact same shit or maybe even worse? Because 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 if I want to play Fortnite on my PlayStation, right? I don't. It doesn't require me to have no PlayStation account. Oh, it don't require me I to have anything. Right. See, time. you're deflecting again. No, you're deflecting. Deflecting. Hey, bro, man, so is one is one right worse now. than the other. This, this is, is your championship fight right worse. now, but bro, you're is, making a goddamn sense. Is one no, worse than the other? No, no. Let me do a super chat. Let me pay the bills real quick. Yo, my man, make, my man Mickey D, he says, your content can transfer to PC and mobile. It's only consoles they're blocking, not making excuses. The, the fact epic. of the matter is, y'all trying to make this just Ooh, about no. accounts, but what good is an account if you can't take the rest of your stuff? I mean, are you ready? Are you, are you, okay, now, now you ready? All right, here, no, man down. Hand down, man down. Are you ready? You're only allowed to have one account with Epic, not multiple accounts. You can have multiple accounts with Epic. Now, now move the, forward. Move forward. You are yes, you, Epic yes, only you can. allowed to have yes, one account with one email All address. Right, cool. So that's so this is where the issue came in part. I'm not talking about crossplay. Epic doesn't allow you to have multiple accounts or multiple emails. Just so if you have whatever the hell, I don't know, Activision and just I'm not, I'm not even talking about crossplay. We're just talking about your account. I'm not uh, you, people still thinking about I'm not I haven't said any shit about crossplay. If somebody doesn't want to do what? crossplay, fine. I'm gonna in the chat. I don't know. One question for you, Zaire. One what question for you. My account, all right. My email is next gen720 at gmail.com. I made an epic account on my PlayStation 4, right? Fine, you're not allowed on crossplay, right? When he gives me the option to sign to my epic account on my Xbox when you need to log in, I can't. They're gonna tell me that that that, that, that account there. It's tied to another console. I can't do that. So okay. I, I my, and check it out. My email account is associated with my gamer tag. So it's just fucked up all across the board. I'm not talking yeah. about anything about this goddamn crossplay. I'm just talking about the account and where the Epic should be set up. You're only allowed to have one account with one email address. What? Yeah, I think, I think Z, yeah, that's a good company. point. I was like, because somebody in the chat oh, saying it, only it, 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 is it is not it is not a good point because what bro, other bro, game bro. allows hey, you to hey, take bro, hey, bro, your bro. account this over. is a new hey bro again what game this is something new that epic is doing i think they may be the first the biggest game that allow crossplay between all devices and again fine with multiple counts i don't know any other game that's doing that right now so kudos <laughs> for epic for being a pioneer in the industry right now kudos and again I have no. said shit about fucking uh, crossplay, but bro, what you're basically again? Let's say for God for sake, let's say if you put in whatever the fuck in the Fortnite, right? Let's say God forbid if your PlayStation went down, right? And right now you're a man of very little means, you got champagne taste with beer money, you can't afford to get another PS4 right now, right? Right? Just, just put your suit because again, a lot of times people don't look unless it affects them. The gaming is a very very selfish hobby, right? So you whatever you spent with Epic or whatever you did with your account, but now you try to take that your own Epic account over to your Xbox. I'm not even talking about the shit that you bought. They tell you now you can enjoy the game because now you have to use another make it with another email address. But what your the email address that you use with your Epic account, that's what's tied to your gamer tag. You, you understand what I'm saying? I don't think you get what I'm saying. That's what the fucked up shit is at. Because you have an email. And you, whatever account that you have in the, uh, that's associated with your game attack, and they're not allowing you to make another what's it called? Because then again, it's not a you know you get to sign in whatever fuck to take advantage of the perks or whatever the game. But uh, you know that's another fucking bag in itself. But that's wrong, bro. Like I don't even see how you could defend it. It's not about whatever the game was doing it. Hey, bro, that should sound crazy as hell. That should sound spooky. Like that's some real live D crap gamer shit right there, bro. Like God damn. Yo, do, no, no, I want to do another uh, pay the bills. Raven Flow, two dollar super chat. He said, Nin, Nin, "Nintendo and Sony don't about, see eye to eye." Z. It's not about Nintendo and Sony. Like, what are you guys? Like, my God, I can't do this. What? What are you? What are you talking about? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't you're for the little man. You're for the little man when yeah. it comes to one topic, yeah. but you don't care when it comes to right. the next topic. Did I once say that Sony was right? 
How many times did you hear me during this exact conversation say Sony is right? I said, I'm not going to kill Sony when you have worse things happening with these accounts. Oh, Lord. Bruh. All right. All right. You're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. How about this? How about this? Hey, mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. hey, uh, uh, sick humor gives you an example of another anti consumer practice oh, that, that, that you think Z is letting slide. I'm not letting you. We just talk. About I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see what he's talking about. Every we're just talking about this here. Other game allowing crossplay. You can make this about Sony, but no other, no other game out there. I don't care if Fortnite is the most popular game ever. <laughs> this has no. There is no. There's nothing in this for Sony to gain. All right, all right, hold up. My man, my man, my man, shout out. Uh, another two dollar super chat, Colonius King. King what's he up, says, bro? How much to cut this? <laughs> you know, N word sick mic off. <laughs> this dude right here at a thousand dollars. G, he's gonna cut you a thousand dollars. Nobody wants to admit to the truth. No, no, but you I mean, I mean, we could, no, we could sit I up know, here. I, 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 I'll say this I'm gonna play, I'm gonna I'm play devil's okay with that point. All right, the, you're, you're making up a point because Epic did something nobody else is doing. So kind of like what Z said, they are the pioneers. So they're already ahead of a curve that nobody else reached. Now, with this Epic account and the policy they created, them being ahead of the curve, you know, everybody but one company adopted the policy that Epic's trying to implement, which is, hey, you're tied to this Epic account. Everything you do on Fortnite is tied to your Epic account, and you can travel with this account from platform to platform to platform every platform provider to include those that has nothing to do with council warren or has anything to do with sony stocks or market share or anything namely iphone and you know ios and android they have shit to do with what sony's doing they're not even in the same market they all went with it too it's epic's account it belongs to the gamer you travel with it everywhere now you travel from pc to xbox to switch to ios to android to web os to sony boom that's it now you're fucked your shit's gone your shit you lost control technically you don't own that account no more sony owns it you understand what i'm saying what happens if you don't buy a playstation 5 which has nothing to do with the playstation 4 and let's say playstation 5 sucks fucking donkey dink and only sells 10 million and fucking xbox sells 100 million guess why it doesn't matter your epic account is tied to the worst selling platform of that generation you see what i'm saying so we can't say is just because Sony's in the lead. Because what if PS5 ends up being dog shit? It's still locked. Your shit's locked to the most dog shit console of that generation. Does that does that kind of make sense now? Uh, yeah. I mean, Harry Hound, my man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to him. Thank you for the 50 sec. He says, remember when MS came out with the X and bragging how easy PC games was ported over to Xbox with the following dev kit? What happened with God Gears of War Tactics? Yeah, uh, right. man. You know, you know, I mean, Z even talked about this that for how long Microsoft <laughs> hype UWP, right? Yep, yep. Same code, you could port games within two hours. Yes, sir. The whole point was to get more PC games. Yes, sir. But even Z admits that's not happening. If anything, it made PC get Xbox games more easier. The direction is going flowing in the wrong direction. I, well, you know, true. the I, I whole point of UWP was to get more PC games. It wasn't I, I, meant to I get think, rid of Xbox I, I, games. I, I think the chat still don't understand the premise of what's going on here. It's not about the Xbox, PlayStation, or Xbox Live and PSN playing together. We're just talking about uh, what them locking your account to the to the. To the I don't. Get, it can be Microsoft doing it. It's not right. I don't give a fuck. It's not me choosing the side because I don't. You know, I don't fucking play Fortnite. What fuck about Fortnite? You know what I mean? So it's not about you know it's no your motherfuckers are so sensitive, man. This shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the the goddamn controller because I have it's not me about me praising anything behind Xbox Live on paywall. I don't have to say anything like that. I don't give a fuck. What I'm talking about, them and listen, it's not even just me. You got one of the biggest Sony fucking fanboys, was Greg Miller. He's pissed off right now. That his epic account. It's tied to, you know what I mean? So it's not just me. I'm just, when you think about what's going on, and then now Epic's not allowing you to have multiple accounts to say whatever whatever email or whatever you're using, it's, it's becoming an issue. I, I think you people think people just complaining about nothing over nothing, because a lot of you guys may not, may not play Fortnite, 
of you know the 105 weeks whatever you, know, you got people that put time into this goddamn game you know what i mean and again it's an issue because here it is i'm not asking to take over my sword or whatever i got on sony store i'm just saying my epic account so i can sign in and buy more shit or we have uh uh access to other shit that you can only have being you know logged into your epic account you know what i mean that is the issue i don't even think people are even complaining about bringing shit over your prestige and nah they're just talking about their account you know what i mean and it's causing the issue you know what i mean people have got make whole new separate game attack shit is crazy shit wow you know Yo, what i mean well, Stuart I stokes hold on. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me pay bills real quick Stuart stokes five dollars super chat he says xbox says sony is anti-consumer but Microsoft out here making exclusive games for PC and phones while Xbox is in a three-year drought. Don't forget about Dave and Busters. Them fuck <laughs> boy shit out there. Motherfucking Microsoft on some fuck boy shit. Making, you know, yo, how sad. We just seen a Microsoft E3 and yet Dave and Busters still got more exclusives. That's some sad shit, yo. <laughs> now, yo, on the real, $2 super chat. GTA Online lets you use same account on PS4 and Xbox. Really? Is that true? I don't think... No, I don't think that's true. Is that that's true? Absolute, that as, that's absolutely not factual. I don't think that's true either. How do I know? I tried logging into uh, GTA on the Xbox and I know Destiny. I know Destiny either. I know Destiny. You were able to do it between the console, like PS3 to PS4, but you weren't able to do it from Xbox to PS3 or PlayStation or PlayStation to Xbox. Well, or here's the thing, yeah, right? I know it says much. it sets a bad precedent if you allow people to dictate how you operate your business. Let's say they cave into this, right? What what's going to be the next? What's going to be the next demand? Okay, so so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You just said that <laughs> it's bad to let business dictate your business, right? Yes. So 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 I'm gonna play devil's advocate because that's what I love to do. So isn't locking down an account that belongs to Epic? Isn't that Sony dictating what Epic is trying to do? Cause that belongs to epic that account is tied to epic no not at all i mean if epic really wanted to make a change for that they could i mean it's their <laughs> account it's their no, account but, it's not your playstation mm -hmm. gamer tag no, 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 sony but sony once they no. once sony ties account even epic says once so the the system that sony has they can't do nothing about it the question is how does sony lock down epic's account I don't fucking know. Have have we not all thought this through? Because I get it. Everybody wants to jump on the hate bandwagon. Yeah, right? well, no, but Sony answered. No, but but the have first, you have no, you thought it through? No, but here's the How? thing. Yeah, actually, people went at Epic first because it's their account, and Epic mm -hmm. says there's nothing we can do about it. It's tied to Sony's ecosystem. You have to talk to them. How how is that even possible if it's their server, their thing that you're signing up to? The only thing that's attached to Sony is Sony's email, whatever you got attached to Sony's PlayStation profile account and the gamer tag. I don't know, but Sony, I don't, I have no idea how the. I don't, in order to answer that question, we will have to Sounds know like how this will, We have to know how to say. It. Well, let me put it this way: if it was a cop out, Sony will answer back saying, "Hey, it's not us. If Epic wants to, they could release and do whatever they, they want." Actually, so, they actually Sony, did say Sony, that. Sony could clap back. I heard Sony didn't clap back. I heard Sony they, they pretty did. much. I heard Sony pretty much said that. Either playing your thing or your tough luck. Nah. Why? Who in the hit? Really? Hold on. Let me look that up. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, you got to find that for me. You, you got to find that said, for me. He said, in the statement to the BBC, Sony highlighted that it offers crossplay support with PC, Mac, and iOS uh, and expanding, I guess, more players to play with. But again, the, the thing is about the account itself. They have no, I get what you're saying, Z. I'm not contesting what you're saying, bro. I, I understand what you're saying and where you're coming I'm from. I'm telling you, I'm saying what Sony's statement. I'm saying what Sony, yes, what Sony's this was their, their official statement to the BBC. You know, they they, they don't really play the anti consumerism shit in, 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 in Europe, they be on the ass. So they issued a statement to the you know, BBC. Uh, they look more stick over I'm, I'm gonna pull it up. Right yeah. I'm reading here. I want you call it. The statement said they Sony highlighted it offers cross play support with PC, Mac, and iOS. And it was an Android device expanding the opportunity for Fortnite fans on PS4 to play with even more gamers on other platforms, but not really answering the question about the um, account and the cell. What, and what this delight was people wanting to um, walk into their Epic account on their Switches. And that's what's. Well, yeah, hold on, let me say yeah, something. Real quick. Yeah, so I play Hearthstone every day, right? I've been playing it for two years, right? Mm hmm. And you can play it on my iOS device. I can play it on my Android device. And I can play it on PC. Cross-play, right? 
And also, my account goes with me wherever I log into. So, Blitzer started that about two years ago. So it's been, it started it's starting to happen. So. Yeah. Uh, did you did you did you hey Z? Did you already read it? Oh, there's several articles on. I just read one. Okay, here this is the whole statement. It says we're always open to hearing what the PlayStation community is interested in to enhance their gaming experience. With more than eighty million monthly active users on PlayStation Network, we've built a huge community of gamers who can play together on Fortnite and all online titles. We also offer Fortnite crossplay support with PC, Mac, iOS, and Android devices, expanding the opportunity for Fortnite fans on PS4 to play with even more gamers on other platforms. We have nothing further to add beyond this at this point. <laughs> yeah, let, let me say this. So they didn't say, say this. they didn't put the blame back on Epic. They just, <laughs> oh, they, yeah. in fact, hold up. In fact, they kind of avoided the actual yeah. situation. They didn't answer it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the bottom line is this, is that if they wanted, if the people in the PlayStation community wanted that, Sony would do it. I just don't think it's that big a deal. I mean, if they don't play Fortnite, they'll just play something else. I mean, they can play Overwatch. They can play that. What didn't Well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, good, great point, Craig. Um, the only thing I think it, I think the problem is this is a new issue. The reason why there's a new issue is because before Fortnite was not announced on Switch, right? It wasn't. Right? It didn't get announced till what yesterday. Right? So before Switch announcement of Fortnite, um. Fortnite was really just PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Most people weren't going to go from PS4 to Xbox because, you know, Xbox is dog shit. So no one really gave a fuck about that, right? But everybody's buying Switches and they'd be like, oh, shit, that's pretty cool. Nintendo just announced Fortnite. It's activating in about five hours. I could play Fortnite on the go. Cool, I'll switch back and forth between PS4 and Switch. Once they tried to do that, that's when the dilemma came up. This wasn't known. To be honest, this problem was always there, but no one cared to go from PS4 to Xbox or PS4 to PC. No one really cared because it didn't make sense because it's just platforms you have in your house. This became right, an so issue. You, this this, for, right? you know what I'm just saying? I'm, I'm, just telling, wait, I'm just telling you why it's a problem now. Well, well, I understand is, that, but let me ask you this. So if, you, if I buy it on the Switch, who can I cross-play with? Everybody. Everyone. Everybody. Except okay, for, if except I, for PlayStation. If I buy it on PC, who can I crossplay with? We're not talking about crossplay, though. Ignore That's the crossplay. I, mean, I understand what you're saying. I'm, yeah. I'm just simply saying this is. But yeah, way. all right. Every platform can crossplay with every platform except PlayStation. PlayStation Four. Okay. But is PlayStation crossplaying with PC? I'm yes. just asking. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, then, so it it just depends on where you want to go to play. Right, that's so, what it sounds yes. like to me. Well, well, well here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. Here's my question, right? So I, I want to ask you this, Porter Rock. Um, let's say you were able to take your Epic account, right? Yeah. What good is taking your Epic account if nothing else comes with it? I, I just, bro, you're not able to have multiple. No, 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 no. You're, you're not, you're not hearing me. You're, I you're not hearing right. me. I'm gonna tell I you, said, right. if okay. you were hypothetically speaking, if you were able to take your email address, because that's pretty much what you've been fighting for. You're like, I should be able to use my email address on this other device. Okay, if you can, what good is if you're if you're not taking your progress? Well, in all right. Items? Well, here's, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're we're not going to talk about PlayStation because obviously PlayStation is the one with the issues, right? So let's say I'm playing on PC, right? I got a PC. I'm a PC gamer. Whatever. Okay, I'm a PC gamer. And then I got a switch. So those are my two platforms, PC and Switch, right? So, you know, I don't give a fuck about Xbox. I don't give a fuck about PS4 because they're dog shit. They don't play at 60, 120 frames. But the reason why I got a switch because it's unique and I could take it on the go. Right. I look at E3, right? Nintendo announces Fortnite's available on Switch. I'm like, oh shit. So now I could play fucking Fortnite on the go. Cool. So now I'm grabbing my switch. I'm about to go away for the weekend or whatever the fuck I do, you know, go to work. I transfer my account from PC to Switch. Now I'm on the go. I got my kills, my friend list, whatever. All this shit I do is on my Switch now. I'm playing it at work. Boom, 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 boom. Or I'm playing it at school. Or I'm playing it on a trip, or in a holiday, whatever the fuck. I come back home. I take my account from Switch, put it back on PC, and I continue to play on PC because that has the better graphics and the frames. Whenever I'm the go, Fortnite's on the go. Whenever I'm home, Fortnite's on the PC. Back and forth, back and forth. That's what's happening now to the PC switch owners. They are able to do that with no issues. Now, now we're going to talk about the PlayStation 
and Switch owners, which is Greg Miller. He thought the same thing. He thought he was going to do the same thing. Oh, cool. So now when I do an interview with Kojima in Tokyo and I have my Switch and leave my PS4 home, I could play Fortnite on the go. Uh, wrong answer. You ain't doing that, dog, because you fucking can't take your Epic account. So what you got to do is have a new Epic account with a new email address, which means you're pretty much starting over. You're pretty much playing two separate Fortnite games. You're playing a specific Fortnite game on your Switch, and you're playing a specific Fortnite game on your PS4. PC and Switch owners don't have that problem, but PS4 Switch owners do have that problem. And that's where the situation. Let me do a couple of bill paying, and then I'll let y'all do your counters. Colonius King, Z, you trying to spar with mental midges. They don't get it. Sick, you are truly sick. Man, this, <laughs> this, this, this dude, this dude, this dude right here. My shout man. The king, man. Yo, 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 shout out to uh, Harry, man. My man has 209 sec. He says right here, cosplay demands dedicated servers. We shouldn't talk about cosplay because it's really not the main issue here. But why most games on both PS4 and Xbox are only peer-to-peer -peer online games, but they're people, great podcast people. No problem. All right, we'll address that because this is big money he put in. I think Microsoft is already in that direction with dedicated servers. Why they didn't do it with State of the K2 blows my mind, but they're already heading in that direction. I've been saying from day one with that PS Now bullshit, they should take those servers they bought, $400 million servers, right? Because the server is still a fucking computer. It's fucking chips, processors, and whatever. Just reprogram them fucking servers and make them to dedicated servers. Sony will benefit more from dedicated servers on their network than that fucking bullshit PS Now network, right? They don't even talk about that shit anymore, you know? But they talk about monthly engagements, monthly active users, Fucking 35 million subscriptions. They talk about all that shit. Man, fuck PS now. No one gives a fuck. Take those <laughs> servers, wipe them clean, reprogram them to dedicated servers, and give us better things. It's going to result with more users' engagement. That's how I feel about that, Harry. I agree. Fuck the peer-to-peer. -peer, get with dedicated. That should be the step towards online, not this PS now cloud bullshit. Well, I, does anybody read there before you sign up for any account? Everybody's hit the little chat bar. Man, but wait, but wait, do not even go with this term. I'm a service. I'm a service. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, yo, I have, I have, I haven't read a term of service on anything ever, bro. Them shits is like thirty okay. pages. Well, maybe people should start reading that before oh, they start clicking and signing up for shit. No, but here's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, no. but, but, but look at it this way again because I'm, I'm taking Xbox out of the equation because I think that's yeah, where yeah. people I'm taking Xbox out of the equation because I think that's where people some people I'm just using two different groups you got the PC and switch gamer and you got the ps4 and switch gamer One gamer PC and switch are able to do things that the ps4 and switch gamer is not able to do Do you think that's fair? Me personally, at, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, get in where you fit in, man. If you should know what you're buying before you buy. I, I, I but but here's the thing, though. Hey, hey yo, hey, yo, hey, hold on, Paul. My man, my man. Xbox ain't got no games. Yo, That's yo. not more like a, a you problem. No, <laughs> oh, but Craig, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. No one knew right. this was a problem until yesterday. Remember, Switch didn't have Fortnite. Fortnite got activated yesterday. But so before no Fortnite's been out for how long? Yeah, how long but, no, but no one cares about switching from PlayStation to Xbox. It's two well, consoles saying, on the same TV. All right, but take that out of it. Like you said, take out everything. When you sign up, like Z said, when he signed up for his Epic account, you got to hit a click, and you're supposed to read the terms of service. Yeah, but Epic it, has no – but it's not Epic, though. Uh, Epic doesn't have oh, Okay, well, whoever. If you're reading your terms of service and with Sony, oh, it's yeah. just watching. Yo, Craig, 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 what they're saying is because the competition can do it, you should oh, be no, able no, to no, do no, it, too. No, no, no. The competition can do it. First they should be able to do it, too. That's not a first statement. That's the entire your argument no, no it's right? not then, ex then explain yes, it. it is android ios and android and ios is competition to sony you That's just said Tony. if pc android okay why can okay. playstation all right so fine, fine. okay thing. fine okay fine android and ios could do it go ahead and tell me that's competition to playstation no, iOS? No, 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 no,
And Android gamers right now what can I'm do it. I'm saying the whole, the whole issue here is that you're saying if you can do it on one set of systems, you should be able to do it on the next set of systems. Is that not the argument here now? Yes. Okay, so if that's the argument, then we could just leave it there because if you're going to say because the competition is doing it, all then right. okay, Sony fine. should jump in and do fine. the same thing. Okay. All is, right, we'll leave it there. All right. is, no, is Android and iOS competition? No, you're not. Then, then your, point is, your point listen, has been invalidated. Listen. No, 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 no. Portal Rock. iOS Portal Rock. and Android. Listen, listen to me. I, I, I hear you. I heard you, but you're. Listen to me, Portal Rock. I, I hear you, but listen. I don't, I don't think you're you using. Do, you're I get using, what you think you're, that you're saying. Competition. So I'm. I get, that I get what you're saying. What I'm. I get what you're saying. Items. What I'm saying, Porter Rock, is that you're saying because one set of systems can do it, the other should be able to do it too. Yes. That's what you're, that's what you're saying. Okay. So it doesn't really matter because this would be a loop de loop conversation. It's never going to let me, end. Let me, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be real. Sony, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. Sony's gonna give in. I guarantee it. They're gonna give in and they're gonna allow Epic to unlock the account. I guarantee it. I guarantee it might take it might take them six months to do it. Okay, it might it might take six months to do it, but when Sony does it, you'll realize holy shit, you were right. This was stupid. Sony's not gonna let this slide. Sony's not gonna be like they're not gonna play hardball to this. And the reason why it would be one thing if it was only Xbox, but it's iOS and Android, which has shit to do with PlayStation. Yeah, it's, it's everybody. It's everybody. everybody. They'll unlock it, and maybe even this for a weekend. Let me put it to you this way. Let me put you this way. I'll say this: If you uh -huh. feel, if you truly feel hardcore about this whole statement, right, that just because other people are doing it doesn't mean they have to, then you can never have said that Microsoft locking down Netflix behind the paywall was a bad decision. Just because other people was offering the, to download the program for free doesn't mean Xbox had to do it. That means you could never have criticized that. If you ever criticized, listen, and, if you and, ever criticized, hold up, if you ever criticized 360 locking down Netflix behind a paywall, then you're wrong. Because if you and, truly well, believe well, that they well, shouldn't well, have to follow the companies, why? Am, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> am I, am I, am I criticizing? Am I, criti am I criticizing that? Am I, am I criticizing I'm saying, that? No, if you, I'm saying if, if you're going to kill did, one, hey, only you if know. you're going to kill one, you have to kill them all. We can't be selective in our outrage. We can't be. My whole stance on this issue is not that Sony is right or wrong. It is that if you're going to kill Sony on this issue, then you need to kill Microsoft on those issues. You need to kill Nintendo on oh. those issues. This should not be a one-way street where, oh, we're only going to nitpick at the shit that Sony does. Hey, do I only nitpick that's, on Sony? That's, that's, my entire, that's my entire stance on this conversation. I'm like, wow, okay, so we mad about Sony not allowing you to take progression and shit from the PlayStation and go to the next freaking yeah. console or whatever, but we're not upset that you have to pay a subscription service just to play a free-to-play game. Hey, I made a video on that. Is that is that is that is 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 that safe to say? Do people now understand what my stance is? Because your chat seems to believe well, that I think what so, Sony is doing is right. Okay, so so me, so so, so, so let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How about how about the people who are only PS4 and Switch owners and they don't even own an Xbox? What did they got to do with Xbox locking down Fortnite behind the paywall? They don't even own the platform. Remember, PlayStation 4 sold 80 million. Xbox didn't. Some of these dudes don't even have an Xbox and they could give a fuck about that platform. They only care about what they do in their own home. They own a PlayStation. They own a Switch. So what does Xbox have to do with them when they don't even have the platform and go give two shits about it? So why you expect them to do like Greg Miller? Greg Grand Miller's opening, Grand Grand closing. You know, so, Greg, so Greg you Miller's still a don't understand yeah. my stance. I understand what you're saying, but you can't. Saying, you can't, what I'm you can't. If you're still comparing it to a piece no, of uh, PlayStation I, I, 4 I, versus I, 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 no, I'm asking you, you. I'm asking you, the PlayStation game who owns a Switch. What do you want him to do? They don't own an Xbox. They could give two fucks about the platform. I don't want them to do anything. Create another account. Okay. Ah, uh, there you see it. <laughs> Create another account. When I went from listen, when I went from PlayStation to Xbox, I created another account. Oh shit. It didn't it didn't bother me. I guess oh, I guess I guess it's a bigger issue for y'all than it is for me. No, that's not an issue for me because I don't play this shit. 
you know, but I can advocate <laughs> on behalf of PlayStation dudes. If a PlayStation dude's like, yo, that's fucked up, bro. I got a PlayStation Switch and I can't do the same shit that I do with a PC and a Switch can do or do what an Xbox and a Switch do. So why the fuck am I asked out? Why, 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 what makes me go like I support PlayStation, right? Why am I getting screwed over? Yet dudes who fucking don't even buy their first party games, they get to do what the fuck they want. These motherfuckers don't even buy because they don't got no first party games. Yeah, but what I'm saying is no. no what I'm saying is for the PlayStation. No, no, look at it from a PlayStation perspective. A PlayStation dude's like, damn, man, I support Sony. I buy the first party games. You got these Xbox dudes that fucking just talk shit. Yet they have freedom I don't have. I'm gonna tell you like this. Look at it from a PlayStation perspective. Don't this look at it from the Xbox. Bad, this shit sets a bad precedent and it reduces competition. I'm sorry, that's just where it is. Me, I want these consoles to compete. I don't want them to be buddy buddy. I don't want there to be a kumbaya. Nigga, I want them to try to tear their heads off, not try to play together. That's <laughs> what I want. But we're not talking about crossplay here. We're just talking about. Oh my god! Oh my god you're missing the exact you. You're missing the whole point of what I'm saying, and I'm saying it directly. Like I don't even think I'm skipping a beat when I say this. What oh, I'm saying man. is, right. I want there to be so, nothing but so, competition. Right. So you're, right. 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 So you're saying. So let me ask you this. So you're saying Sony <laughs> controlling third-party accounts is a form of competition. Well, here's the thing. Do we know that they're controlling the third-party accounts? Just, well, yeah, because you told me they answered about Epic, and that's not true. They didn't put this back on Epic. Do we, do we know okay. that they're controlling third-party accounts? Yes, in fact, yes. So so where yes. is where is the detailed proof that shows that they're controlling oh, Epic? Oh, simple. Accounts? Here's the proof. Epic said Sony's oh, working it down. Listen. Link, link me to listen, it. Just send me listen, a link. Listen, all right? Sony answered. I'm going to send you a link, but so Epic said they can't do nothing about it. It's only Sony can. And we just heard Sony's press release. They didn't address saying, no, that's Epic's problem. They the ones that are doing it. So Epic clapped back saying, hey, we can't do nothing about this. But Sony, they kept quiet. In fact, their last words was, that's as far as we're going to talk about this. That was their last statement. This is as far as we're going to concern about this situation. This, this is the equivalent of you saying you have a Google account, right? And you link that Google account to some other account. And now that other account has control of your Google account. And Google can't do anything about that. This It makes no sense, Porter Rock. Oh man, it I makes don't... absolutely no sense. Well, Sony, Sony, Sony didn't deny that statement from Epic. Does, does this does this make sense to you? Though, I mean, wait, hold up. So hold up, this. Let me. If I say, "Hey, yo, sick humor just killed this lady and raped her," you're gonna say, "Man, Puerto Rock's talking shit," right? You're gonna you're gonna make sure you tell your side of the story, right? But does this make any sense? Okay, though? I don't. It, it doesn't make sense that Sony didn't clap back. Does it make sense if it, you it, have a Google account and you oh, link I, I your Google account in order to truly Google. in order to truly answer that question? I'm trying I would to have, make an I would, example listen, that I'm, makes more I, sense. No, I would I would have in, in order to truly answer that question, I would have to have an IT certification in this. But I will say this: if someone's accusing me of doing something wrong, I will clap back with a statement with my spokesperson and clap back and be like, "No, that is incorrect information." This company can do this if they wanted to. If I don't address it, if I release a press release and I don't even address the specific scenario, that's suspect. So Sony you didn't believe, address. So I believe. You, you I believe. do. Yes, I do believe it. I do believe, believe it. Because so, I do believe, believe this is a Sony thing because they didn't clap back. So they didn't you address believe it. Believe that a account, account that was created on Epic servers that Epic basically maintains. You believe that Sony took those accounts hostage is, yep. is what you're telling me. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. I really believe. You know why? Because Sony ain't saying shit about it. It's no oh. different. It's no so, different. So it's because just... they're not saying anything, they're completely, they're completely true. It's, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, if you release well, a press release. All right. Cool. It, it, bro, cool. if you release. So if I go in into an interrogation room and I don't say anything and they tell me that I did everything. Uh, then I'm automatically guilty if I if I don't say anything. Here's the um, thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Sick humor. Here's the thing, though. No, no, but sick humor. Here's the thing, though. Sony did say something. They they released it. I just read it to you. They they made a press release and didn't address it. That isn't so. so is it, in, in fact, don't we call that sidestepping? Yeah, you gotta pay the bills, <laughs> Don't we call that sign? Hey, you up, if you ask me a question, I answer it, but I don't actually answer your question. Would you not say Porter Rock, you sidestepping? 
Yeah. Uh, would, you not, would, would you not call me out? But I'm I'm equating it to an interrogation because what you just told Jesus me, Christ. Porter Rock, and I just analyzed what you just said. You just said if I don't say anything, then I'm automatically guilty because I didn't say anything. Am I lying? Am I putting words in your mouth? Am I putting uh, words in your okay. mouth? I don't believe I'm putting words in your mouth because that's what you just said. Yeah, but, you just said but if I don't say anything, I'm automatically guilty. Yeah, because this ain't a court of law. Are we? Yo, you laughing, but are we talking? Court of law. All right, cool. Oh, all right, cool. But are, 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 are we talking? Listen, so you're telling me Sony Sony got amendment rights? We talking constitutional oh, law here? We're talking oh, about your side stepping. Your side stepping. All right, so so hold up. So uh, okay, so then Sea of Thieves did sell four million. I don't know what they sold. Right, we can't say that it didn't sell because when Microsoft says there's four million people and we ask Microsoft, so does that well, mean Microsoft four million sales? Said it was four million people. Okay. Yeah, but 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 people are like, they oh, never so even four, said four million sales. You know what I'm saying? But we can't say it's not four million sales just because they didn't validate it. I'm not sure how the two of those are the same though. The point I'm is, because you be, said if if I don't say anything, I'm automatically guilty. Yeah. All right. In this case, Sony is guilty. Cool. Okay. Is uh, it uh, a court? Uh, uh, no, play, play Sony doesn't get Miranda rights in this conversation. Yeah, no but none, right. none, none of that has anything to do with it. You're saying it. you're listen, silent, you're listen, automatically listen, guilty. Yep, that, yep, that makes yep, no yep, sense. Yep, yep, it does because it's that not a court of no sense. Because it's not a court of law. That's why this is not Miranda rights. That's why it doesn't make sense to you. You're equating this as Sony's getting arrested I, I by know. police. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what you mean. No, 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 no. See, now you're sidestepping and you're trying I'm to turn it into something that's not. You literally said these are your words, yeah. Porter Rock. If you do not say nothing, that automatically means that you're guilty. Yes, I heard that you. Absolutely. I'm telling you, yes. Yeah, but that if makes no business, sense, Porter if, Rock. If you're a business, that and I'm telling you, no sense. Because if you're if, if you're a business, <laughs> right, and I'm telling you, your business ain't doing something. And you don't come and protect your business because you know it could make your business look bad. You're guilty. Sony doesn't protect themselves against anything that's being oh, said by oh, people. Oh, really? When oh, was really? the last oh, time? Really? Oh. When was the last time that Sony was accused of some shit? Oh, you ready? You ready? You ready? Get this And they came out. And they came out saying that. Ready? Ready? Right? These games are made by adults for adults. That's a defense. These games are made by adults for adults. That's a defense. Thank you. And the no, discussion. That's them just saying. That's just them saying. saying that is just the them saying. The same day. What the hell? Let's go. Let's what go. Let's go. You're, talking about, you're talking about. You're talking about. You're talking about once the last time. That's not a when defense. That's just telling them what it is. When what are people, you about? When people criticize on what Sony was doing, making these violent games, Sony came out and said these games are by adults, made for adults. Nah, fuck it the man. fuck up. Have nah, a nice day. Man. That's a defense. Nah, right, hold on. Uh, Lionel nah, Bolton. Man. Shout out to Lionel Bolton in Super Chat. Yo, nah, he said man. if Epic didn't have accounts and went off your game attack, this wouldn't be an issue just like Call of Duty or Battlefield. But the problem with that with Lionel is that this game was on PC way before it came to consoles and you know, game attacks and stuff. So nah, just carried on. That's you true. asked, when was the last time Sony defended this shit? Nah, I fam. gave you an example. That, that's not a that's not a defense. That's, that's just them defense. telling them what it is. It's a that's mature a game. What's that's a defense. Listen, listen, as far as it goes, as far as it goes with, with Sony, if they don't say nothing, that doesn't mean that they're guilty. That just means that they're not addressing you know, but, that but shit. The thing, but the thing is, they did say something, and then they tried to damage control. They sidestepped. They released a press no, release. They basically said we they are working, we, we are working to, I guess, do whatever cosplay <laughs> shit with other, with other fucking people. It's not about I mean, uh, that's, no, I'm, but we're not I'm talking about you. cosplay. I'm talking about what he just I'm, read. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you, Sony, Sony's gonna. Sony. Sony. What's funny is Sony's gonna give in to this, and then and then it's gonna look back, and we're gonna realize, yeah, it was wrong because Sony's not gonna let this slide. It's, it's just the, the weight of this is gonna be too big on this one. It's gonna be too big. Sony, Sony, no, you, gonna, might, you might Sony. be right. You yeah. might be right. You might be right. Maybe they would cave, but again, that'll set a pre a bad precedent for them, and they wouldn't. They will not have any control of what they do with their business. That's they not will true. Have to always, they will have to always concede. You concede once, you will have to concede again, and then other companies come in. You have to concede to everybody now because you've conceded to one. Like that's just how shit works. I think it's setting a bad precedent. I'm sorry. That's but what concede it is. to. But concede to what? This is Epic's account. They own it. It's their shit. That's what it, I just feel like they're conceding, bro. I feel like I feel like if they concede and give in to this, they now have to concede and give in to the demands of everything that people say because I mean everybody else is doing it, so why not? 
I mean, because that was your argument. If everybody else is doing yeah. it, why, why ain't Sony doing it? Well, I my mean, argument, my, my, is, my thing, my thing, you're right, everybody's doing it, but it's because it's Epic's account. It's their shit. I don't think anybody has a right to take hostage on something that's not proprietary to their own shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like when you play Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty is owned by Activision, but it's being run on Sony they servers. Not go into the PlayStation Store and purchase things through PlayStation. Well, I mean, again, here's it's what I would do about it. Yes or no? This is simple. Yes or no? This is simple. Yes or no? I'm gonna answer. Everything on the PlayStation Store, right, is actually owned by Epic. Sony gets a cut. All those things, oh, man, all man. those things are are owned by Epic. Sony's hosting it. And gets a cut now if something okay let's say this right let's say this throw out a hypothetical right mm -hmm. let's say something goes wrong with some items after transferring over to the switch right none of those items were bought on the switch epic is going to send them back to sony what do they do from that point what do you mean what do you mean if, those items? if if items if items that they purchased from the epic store or from the sony store right Let's say they purchase something from the Sony store, and then when they transfer over to the Switch, right? Some of those items are gone. Stuff is missing, right? That's not how it works. What, what happens? What happens? That's not even the issue. That's not how it works. What though. happens if? I just said Wait, it was no. hypothetical, bro. But no, no, you're not it's listening, dog. I know, what is no. And I, I'm listening to you, but the thing is, you're creating a hypothetical situation. Okay, okay, that's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, That's hold on, never going to happen. Hold on, maybe I'm I'm misunderstanding what Zaire is talking about. Are you just saying they should yeah, have they, access they, to their uh, email, or is that what you're saying? Uh, okay. Maybe I'm misunderstanding you, and uh, I want to. Uh, uh, okay, I want to explain it to you again. The issue is, you allow me to answer, or you gonna keep talking? It don't need to be a long drawn out explanation. It doesn't need to be a long drawn out explanation. Are you saying that they? Just be able this to use their Sony email. Puppeteer. Nigga, your are you saying that they just hey, need to be? Are you saying they just need to hey, have the email? Hey, cross I don't know if you don't smell the don't need a long drawn out explanation, bro. bro. What the fuck you need, bro? You what, what is, why, why are you giving? Why are you yeah. giving a long drawn out explanation? Yeah. You're telling me that, well, th no, we're just talking about accounts. I'm telling you, if they have an account, they don't. I'm you saying if thing. PlayStation, I'm saying if care, PlayStation created an account, bro, can we switch the topic? I don't give a fuck about it. I don't want to talk about it. This is making me headache because he ain't making no bad guys. Let me do, let me do, let me do some, some, um, what you call it? None of that. No, none of that shit, bro. That's a good way to dodge shit, though. I feel you. Spectre status, two dollars. He said Epic had to agree to let Sony do this. Maybe. And yeah. Stuart Stokes, two dollars super chat. Sick didn't, sick didn't deny killing y'all. Need to watch out. Um, no, no, no. Here's what I'm saying, and the thing is, I like the way that you dodge questions by saying random dumbass. Shit. I, 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 I applaud you for that. I applaud you for that. I applaud you for that because I don't need a long drawn out explanation for that shit. I don't need you with the Sony What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Like I'm asking you a simple question. It's a simple yes or no. And you man. want to give me a long drawn out explanation that doesn't hit on the topic at all? Go on the corner, close your eyes, count to ten. And I oh, promise you, she did up here. Next topic. All right. So we're gonna talk about. Let's talk about these two new fucking topics. Talking about Project Scarlet, um, and then rumors of AMD Navi Tech exclusive to Sony. All right. So rumor has it already. Project Scarlet's in the work, and I don't believe it. But they even talking about. There's two things. They even talking about it might be released next year and stuff like that. Now here's my question. What is what's going on that's advancing the conversation? Of of Project Scarlet and even talk about Navi on Sony. Like, what's going on? Like, we just had the most powerful console released, right? The Xbox One X, and then a year before that, we have the PS4 Pro. So, we we, we asked what, what's what's why is this conversation coming? Yeah, out? why is this conversation even happening? Because um, well, I think well, not I think I know. Well, Sony started so they're winding down. I mean, you know, I think what it is is that for console guys, it's the first time we ever dealt with um mid gen refreshes. So a lot of people are looking at those as next generation consoles, with which they're not. They're mid gen refreshes. I mean, this generation started in 2013. You know, what I mean, if something about 2020 again, you know, that's usually shit. Usually, last four to five years, we get something new. You know, what I mean, so if this shit started in 2013, uh, there's nothing wrong with new consoles coming out in 2020. You know, what I mean, 
at the, you know at, at, at the grand scheme of things you know what i mean you didn't have to get the x nor that you had to get the pro but it still enjoyed the same library you know what i mean they didn't like they had exclusive content you know what i mean so uh, you know i i me personally i i don't have an issue with it you know what i mean uh it's so like you know what play just you know what is it made sense well foul because we just seen what sony showed or uh the gears five and and it, those games look good like god damn it can't no better than that and you know towards the telling of a generation games do start to look better you know because they not do all the tricks and you know what I mean? So you always get the best looking games towards the end of a console's generation. So 2019, you probably ain't gonna have Sony on stage touting, you know, PS5, uh, you know, showing them maybe what the games will look like or whatever the case may be. And the same thing for Microsoft, but they both be there by 2020. All right. What y'all guys think about that? Oh, uh, I I again I think they're gonna have more uh Vega tech and then maybe a little bit of Navi, some of the processes put in but mostly it'll be vega tech um you know that's that's what i believe it if you know and they could change it they could change it but uh it depends on what they're going for my understanding is sony's next console they're about uh this they're graphically i've heard z say this on his podcast that he's not seen a game looking as good as or looking as good as uh like a god of war or a even Detroit become human. So graphically, they may be kind of at a precedence, but uh, the CPU is kind of where they're wanting to advance things. So that's the wait and see. I, I don't think it's going to be uh, exclusive, though. Maybe the way it processes some of the information, they may be able to do that exclusively. But overall, no, nah, I don't see Sony, you know, AMD doing that. Forget about Sony. <laughs> All right, Sick, what you think about that? Um, I honestly don't really care for new consoles right now. Like, I, I'll wait till maybe 2021, 2022. Like, I ain't really in no rush. I, I honestly don't even care about the talk about the new consoles. I don't even think Microsoft is talking about a console in the, the realm of what we're thinking about. Because when they were on stage at E3, they did say something about some type of streaming device or some shit like that that they're working on the people, the creators of the Xbox one X they're working on that. So maybe that's what they're talking about. Well, we know they, that they opened up a cloud division um, and stuff yeah. like that. But also Phil did say that there'll be a new Xbox or whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever powerful, whatever. <laughs> I'll be honest. I believe him when it comes to that. Cause that's pretty much his thing. Um, hey, 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 here's something. Here's something real funny. Uh, Tip Diamond said he broke. That's why he don't care about new consoles. <laughs> Are you talking about you? <laughs> oh, that dude, that dude's the biggest yeah. Stuff like that. Now, now, this thing, now, this thing, um, y'all read the article on AMD, Navi, um, supposedly yeah. Navi was built for Sony or Sony, a collaboration with that, um, I'm gonna just say I'm gonna just say a quick note on that. I think it's bullshit. Um, yeah. I think that's bullshit that that Sony exclusively working on architecture only because of cost. You know, um, when you create an architecture for GPUs and stuff like that, where you make your money is that architecture is available on every platform and yeah. every device. It's everywhere, PCs and shit like that. Various different models of cards on consoles like Polaris, like what we have. You know, we have Polaris on Xbox. Even the even the One X has Polaris. The pure oh, no, 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 no. I heard Puerto Rico. Oh, Rana. man, don't start oh. your shit. <laughs> 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 that was a dog. That was a dog. Ryzen chip. And that guy had that Ryzen CPU, so I don't tell me there's a Polaris oh, on my Xbox. Hey. <laughs> fucking you, you, you a down, dirty dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I mean, Yo. look. Oh, look, shit. I, I heard somebody say they had insider information. So yeah. don't tell me what the Polaris is in that Xbox man, X. Man. My man, my man, my man, Craig on his fuckboy shit right now. Yo, no, I'm <laughs> no but you know Polaris, Polaris is, but, but in all shit, my black ass in jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know though, but you know Polaris. <laughs> you no, know, Polaris was in the Xbox One, One S, One X. Polaris was in the Four Slim and Pro. It's on various PC cards. You know what I'm saying? That's how you make your money on architecture, right? If Sony were to contract on a specific architecture that they're going to use, it's only going to be on a PlayStation device unless Sony's thinking of other shit beyond PlayStation. But let's assume it's only on a PlayStation device. What worries me is that's going to make the console expensive. It's not going to be... I don't even think it'll be a $500 console. You're talking maybe 600 
at this point. I don't think they'll kill themselves like that again. Poor you know what I'm That's why I don't think this Navi shit. I think it's full of shit. Like you ain't like you're not gonna see me fucking on um, podcast hyping this Navi shit. I ain't doing that. You're not gonna make me look like the D of PlayStation in 2018. That shit ain't happening. Yes. <laughs> but yo, Zay, what do you think about this? Do you think there's any credence, or do you agree that? I mean, yeah, what's, what, what, what came after Polaris? Polaris was Vega. Oh, uh, so maybe Vega. They didn't probably have Vega. Yeah, but what do you think about this rumor that was started that Navi is actually a collaboration between Sony and AMD specifically for the next exclusive. PlayStation console? Yeah, exclusive. Uh, that the architecture exclusive to that. Sony, Sony, listen, Sony's not going to spend that type of money. Mm. I don't think they have that type of money to spend on some hardware because then you know you, you, you're going to avoid PC and nah, that's that, that costs it's too money. Yeah, that's too expensive. That's billions and billions. That's two about billions of dollars. G. That's, a, that's a thousand dollars, G. <laughs> they did that shit. The PS5 is not going to be a cheap product, and 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 I advocate price is fucking important, bro. To release a six hundred dollar console, it, it'll be at least five. And the PS4 five will be at least five hundred. Sure. Yeah, I think they're gonna move into the realm of five because you can't you just can't do much with four dog. Like, I mean, we as consumers have to understand at this point that the price has to go up if you really want to get what you really want out of these consoles. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Interesting. All right. So damn, we already fucking my last topic was the Fortnite tobacco. Never mind. We ain't going back to that motherfucker. Mm. Well, let me talk to you. <laughs> Let me talk about. Let me talk. I got. I got to switch the order up and shit like that. Let me talk to Z about this. Yo, Z. So, Last of Us, seventeen million, bro. What do you think about that, bro? Is that is that is that, is that franchise now? Um, fucking big gun. This PS3 and the, the PS4. Yeah. Uh, I think it's dope, man. It's dope. It's, it's always whether you, again whether you're a Xbox, Sony, or Nintendo guy. It's healthy for gaming, man. You know what I mean? So I think a lot of time a lot of people get caught up in the hype of whatever their preferred platform is. And not realizing, even if Halo came out there, so twenty five million, and I don't give a fuck about Halo. That's still more money within the industry that we all like and love. You know what I mean, not saying that shit goes in our pockets, but hopefully they would take that and go out there and create something new, something big. You know what I mean, and take more chances. So I think that shit's dope. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. And then one last time, I want to talk to y'all about the last opinion. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think? What did y'all think about the Nintendo conference? <laughs> hey, hey, yo, you went home last night, right? But no, I wasn't on. Yo, did y'all did y'all beat the shit out of Baron? Yo, Baron hopped in here with his shit. But yo, what's you know my man? What's my man? They classic love. They all being much in the super chat and shit. Yeah. You know, you know he a big Nintendo man. He was like, yo, hold up, man. I got to admit, man, that conference is dog shit. <laughs> and a thirty minute conference and spent twenty two minutes on Smash. The <laughs> Wii U boy, I'm just saying, yo. <laughs> That shit was yo, trash. No, when I saw that shit, I'm like, yo, these dudes are bugging. They literally announced every single character on fucking Smash Brothers Ball, and then they went into a fighting tutorial. I was yo, like, yo, these dudes is wild, bro. Mm. These dudes, yo, this shit became so... You know, first we had Zelda Con, now we have Super Smash Brothers Ball Con. I'm like, yo, what's yeah. going on here, bro? And then that's how they ended it. I was like, yo, no... Right. No I Metro Prime that, that the game they started with, I think that that game looked dope. But man, by the time they got to Smash Brothers, I was out cold. Dog. I was yo, already tired. I, yo, I paused that. Yo, sleep. yo, I paused that shit and I took a break. I'm like, yo, they're talking about this shit too long. Let me take a break and shit. And then I went back ten more minutes, and then that's it. I was like, what? No Metroid? No Bayonetta? The fuck is we doing here? I'm like, yo, this is the worst conference I ever seen, bro. <laughs> yo, they, yo, and Mario Party, no online. Yo, how are you gonna start charging for online and then make games that aren't online? <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> I can understand a single player story driven type game. All right, I get it. That's not gonna be online. But this, the whole point of Mario Party is to play with other people. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't online. Yo. I was like, yo, these dudes are wild, bro. Was there any of the other ones online? No, I don't think. I think the only online game I remember them showing is is Super Wait. Smash Brothers. Oh, uh, okay. I don't. Even, I don't even think that cooking game. I'm like, yo, these dudes are bugging. They 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 back to cooking shit, bro. Yo, <laughs> that shit's that shit's a big L, bro. Yo, I even told Barry, I'm be like, yo, you take the big L because that motherfucker's been hounding me saying how Metro Prime Four was gonna win Game of the Show over The Last of Us. I'm like, yo, you got fucking Metroid no show prime on this motherfucker. Fuck is you talking about? 
they have some all right games on there, man. If you're into that type of I, stuff, I'm gonna I'm tell you. So some of the games I saw, you know, like the anime Japanese action RPGs, yeah. they look good. My only problem is if you if you have a PlayStation Four and you look at the PlayStation Store for frequently, you actually see all that. You see type those type of games almost all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. That's like that's like normal seeing those type of RPGs and anime RPGs and shit. You see that shit all the time on the PlayStation Store. So like that's seeing on the Nintendo stage is like. It doesn't mean anything because, like, on PlayStation, like, hell, I could probably log on right now and see a new fucking Japanese anime type RPG game. I ain't gonna even lie. Most of that stuff looked like it was from the uh, Wii U anyway, but I mean, that's just from what I was looking at. But it was a, it was, it was all right. I, I'm not gonna kill Nintendo fully because, I mean, what did we expect from Nintendo? They've that done the show, same no, thing that, every year. That show was worse than what I expected, dog. I was honestly thinking Metroid Prime was gonna be there. You I know what? But oh, why was people God. thinking Metroid Prime was gonna be there? Not because they teased it last year, and this is and let's be honest, this is a mobile platform, so it's not like it takes five right. years to make games. This yeah, is yeah, that's true, that's true. Nvidia, what is it? The fucking Nvidia, what's the name of the fucking fucking Cuda course? Um, what the fuck is the, it? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't take long to make games on this fucking thing. Do you think that's kind of fair though? I think people got themselves hyped up and then oh, were more man. disappointed because they got themselves hyped up. Well, these right? Nintendo fans got me hyped up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, oh, because I wasn't, I wasn't and, and Video Tegra. I wasn't the one out there fucking parading Metroid Prime. It was these dudes on my timeline. Yo, Metroid right. Prime is gonna win game of the show. So I'm thinking in my head, these Nintendo fuckboys, they they know something. They got some insider information. Yeah, they're part of the party. They 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 in that insider program. They don't get flagged on their channel. They talk about it. My man Obi Wan's out there. You know he knows. They know. So Metroid Prime is gonna be there. I'm like, all right, cool. Man, that motherfucker wasn't there. I'm like, what the fuck is that shit? I'm like, yo, I thought I missed it. I thought I fell asleep. And I'm like, yo, I must have missed it. Somebody give me a time act. They're like, nah, poor dog, that shit wasn't there, dog. I'm like, yo, so you telling me y'all excited over Wolfenstein? Son, what are we what are we doing here? Motherfuckers excited over a Wolfenstein port and shit. I'm like, yo, well, these dudes they got it, bro. I, I mean, at least they got it. And I yeah, I gave Nintendo's conference a seven. I gave oh, Microsoft what? A seven. What? Oh, oh hell no. Microsoft. <laughs> what did you give Microsoft? What did I give Microsoft? I yeah. gave them a solid eight. I gave them an eight. Man, that's still too high for Nintendo. No, nah, but you, just, you gave it to like us. I don't know. I that's just like a foe. That that's just like a foe. Yeah, nah. I, think, look, I think overall that whole conference, everybody included, uh, is was a B. Was a, that was a very good E3. I mean, everybody got a little mm. bit of Nintendo, something. Nintendo, Nobody Nintendo, Nintendo killed me, man. Yo, my man, Alloy well, said. My people had a problem with Nintendo. Like Metacritic, said, score, Metacritic score of 68. Well, no, that's 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 that, 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 that the new ninety eight. So. Yo, that's that shit was the sea of thieves of fucking conferences, dog. <laughs> yo, my God, bro. Yo, yo, Z, man, you got anything to get off your chest, man? I know we haven't talked for a minute. We just talked the day, fuck nigga. Um, nah, we good. <laughs> nah, man, we talk about this Fortnite bullshit. You know, the, let me ask you, son. Do any of us here play Fortnite? I don't play that no. shit. Nah, nah. I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't really like Battle Royale. Royale we spend an hour talking that fucking bullshit. Man, that's some yeah, dog shit. I, I don't even like Battle Royale games, man. I'm just I'm just looking at, you know, the the aesthetics of the situation. I'm just like, I don't know, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna kill them over that. I don't know if I'm gonna kill them over that. Yeah, I, I play I tried to play it once and um I I like that other game that came out that was free, H one Z one. I prefer that, but it's all the same thing. So Man, that's some shit. All right, so what? So going down the line, no Star Wars Z. What did you think of E three overall? Um, I think it was a good show. Like I said before, I think Microsoft had a better show. Sony showed better exclusives, and Nintendo shit was dog shit. But you know, maybe it's not to sound corny and cliche. Whether you're an Xbox guy or you're a Sony guy or a Nintendo guy, I think everybody probably walked away happy. Like every E three, you know what I mean? You're gonna no matter yeah. what you're a fan of, you're gonna see something that you like and be ecstatic about it. So. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, my only, I guess, gripe, or you, I guess, about that uh, Kojima goddamn game. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> was that. walking up a mountain, he walks sideways up a mountain. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it was the worst part of the game. He had, to, he had the bowels, the package on his back, and walking up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was going on? <laughs> About that chick eating a fucking fetus? Yo, yo, I, I, I cannot wait to play that game, bro. That's gonna be the yeah, I don't know what the yo, fuck going on in that yo, game. Yo, that's it. That's it. You play that game, you're gonna you're gonna feel like you're on acid and shit. Like yo, <laughs> that motherfucker only Kadima can make you feel like you're on hey, drugs. Yo, that's yeah, that kid's ass cheek was in his throat. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, I thought I was the only one who caught that. I'm like, yo, that's the first time she showed up. I'm like, yo, the baby, now they showing the baby ass out. Like, yo, 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 wild, yo this shit is that dude is wilding, bro. Kadima ain't give no fuck. And then that chick was eating a fetus. I'm telling you, that she was a baby fetus, bro. And she's oh, following them. I don't know what the fuck is going on in that game, bro. That's just gonna be like the most trippy shit. Yo, I cannot wait to see that motherfucker. That motherfucker is on some shit, bro. That dude, that dude's on that. He's chasing the dragon and shit like that. <laughs> yo, for real. All right, yo, Craig, what you think overall of fucking E3? I gave it a B. Um, I agree with Z. Everybody got a little something that they wanted. I thought Sony um wanted hands down with gameplay. I mean, Microsoft showed a bunch of games that are on other platforms. Uh I'm glad that they, they've invested. Uh, hopefully that uh, gave their uh, fanboys a hard on to keep their consoles. And um, uh, we'll just see going forward. I enjoyed the I enjoyed everybody's conference. I'm glad EA's got the new Star Wars game with Respawn. That sounds like a great period that they could do. Um, excited for um, the uh, Control game. That was a surprise. So uh, mm-hmm. let's have to wait and see how it turns out. All right, yo. Sick, what you thought overall? Oh man, I give it an A plus 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 plus, bro. Really? Um, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you why though. I'm gonna tell you why. Because me as a gamer, I win overall. You know what I'm saying? Like if from EA, I like Anthem, um, I like Unravel too, and I liked uh Battlefield 5. So I love that. Ubisoft, I mean the division two, I wasn't even really interested in it, but damn, after seeing that gameplay, bro, I gotta say, I I, I might fuck with that um bethesda doom i mean come on you can't go wrong with doom they got a new wolfenstein i don't know if i'm really too into the characters that they got but fuck it it's a new wolfenstein um from what i saw from square enix kingdom hearts 3 pretty much stole the show for me dog like that that probably is one of the most games that i'm hyped about no no let me take that back resident evil 2 stole the show for me um I think Microsoft, honestly, if we're going to speak objectively, they most certainly had the best showcase. They had the best showcase, hands down. There's no arguing that. Now, now, I don't know what the fuck Sony was thinking. I mean, they was at the Walmart parking lot doing their fucking E3 conference. Um, You know, they was in some of those division tents (laughs) set up in the middle of the goddamn parking lot. And and they they fucking showed Last of Us 2, bruh. And, And that game was... God damn, I don't even know what to say about that, dog. Like, you know, I mean, they got their little girl on girl action on and then moved into Ellie fucking people up, dog. Like, I mean, I mean you can't go wrong with that. No. Um, yeah. Ghost of Tsushima, one of the best fucking games I've seen. Um, my bad. I'm actually skipping one. Forza 4, Forza Horizon 4. That shit actually looked really, really dope. Um, can't wait to play that on the PC. Um, what else? We had uh Ghost of Tsushima, Death Stranding, weird as fuck. I'm I'm intrigued, curious, but I don't know what the fuck is going on in that game. Like somebody said, it, they was just walking around, and and I don't know, dog. Like I don't know what the fuck that game is about. But it does have my interest peaked. Spider Man, I think, was like the top thing there. I mean, people went crazy when Spider Man came on. Like that, that just and and they showed a whole bunch of bosses that you're gonna be fighting in the game. What they call them, the something six or whatever. Mister Six. The Sinister Six or whatever. And uh, I just want to know who the fuck going to save Spider-Man because he got his ass fucked up at the end. I, uh, I heard over- Screen, Rant, Screen Rant reported that it could be Daredevil. Daredevil. Could be. Really? Could of be. all characters could they could get, they get that name? All right, whatever. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <It may> not- <laughs> yeah, but I mean, outside of that, but I, I, thought, I thought even Nintendo's conference was cool because I'm pretty sure Nintendo people who got the switch are going crazy over that shit because they did show some good games um not not a lot that I'm actually interested in but I'm not going to write them off just cuz I'm not interested in them um but overall I think gamers as a whole won bro I think we all won whoever really plays games you know if you don't really play games then of course you probably didn't give a damn about E3 but if you're really out here playing these games bro I mean there's so much for you to play bro so much coming you can't be mad at this E3 
Okay, okay. I think on me, I think overall E3 was good. I, I think it was great overall because it was just a lot of games, a lot of content, just a lot of stuff for, for gamers. I know we bullshit, we talk shit about who had the better E3, or whatever, but you know, at the end of the day, if you're if you're able to own all platforms, there's something for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Unless you own a switch, because that console is dog shit. Yo, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. Nah, nah, I'm no, real, no, I know you played. It's still I'm, funny. I'm, I'm real. Yo, you know what I'm saying? No, but I think it was overall good. I think it was a good E3 for gaming. You understand what I'm saying? We got a little bit of everything. We got a little bit of, uh, at least we know Microsoft is serious with the first party. So at least going forward, eventually, next generation, that they're serious about putting out more content. You understand what I'm saying? We also see that they're serious about trying to get more Japanese game support. So that's a plus. Sony is serious about their exclusives. They're showing good gameplay and stuff like that. And then Nintendo, you know, well, Nintendo do what they do to make their fans happy, you know? <laughs> and, and then and then each of the uh, third-party studios, you know, I'm like 50, I'm like 70, 40 against third-party studios having their own stuff because I think it, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's like unnecessary, but we've seen some good stuff that, you know, some of these studios are bringing out and stuff, so... I think overall, I like E3 also. I enjoyed this E3 overall, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think, but right. I think, I'm going to think, unless somebody else has something, I'm going I'm to cut this off because I got to wake up earlier tomorrow because my ass is going to Europa land. Mario. Oh, Europa like land. But yeah, I'm going to this. I guess it's the second largest theme park in Europe. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, so I'm going to check it out and get my shit. I said 70-40? Yeah, fucking mayoral math. Oh, shit. This, you see, this shit got me fucked up. Yo, so anyway... Um, other than that, we out. Got you know, shout yourself out, fucking Craig. Go ahead before I let before I let y'all go. Oh yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for the vine. Appreciate being here. Uh good discussion. And you all keep it gamey. I will be if, if anybody wants to play the division on that inferior Xbox, uh hit me up, situated spoon 26. And uh shout out to everybody. Your Xbox live name is situated spoon. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, it's, I went to that random selector thing, and that's what popped up because everything else I chose, it kept saying was taken. So, so yeah. <laughs> now, I, I just slow my Xbox down because I, I use the Ryzen CPU, so I'll slow mine down to play with you guys. Oh, shit, this motherfucker said his name is Situated Spoon. Yo. <laughs> yes, that's Situated Spoon 26. Yo, yo, oh, <laughs> shit. So that means there's a 25 out there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. All right, my man Z, what's good, cousin? Everything's smooth, man. Um, about to get ready for the multiplayer podcast. Thank you for having me on. Oh, you're doing all that's right. When you doing it? I should have about an hour or so. Fuck, man. It's fucking twelve o'clock. I gotta go to sleep. Don't worry about it, bro. Wake up, man. I'll fuck. Talk about, I'll talk about Barrett's some honey back. Barrett's gonna be there. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I want to get that fuck boy, bro. I will. I will cave his fucking head in, bro. <laughs> you got it. Oh, you gotta fucking dig him in on that. Fucking bullshit ass Nintendo conference. We got him last night. We started playing this shit on Sony. Oh, <laughs> yo, that's it. Oh, yo, I, yo, the first thing I did, I brought up a post he did like a couple of months ago, showing like Metroid winning. I'm like, yo, what the fuck happened with this shit? Take this fucking L. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh man, this dude, bro. But yo, we doing, we doing um, um, digital streets on Sunday, right? Your channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, so Digital Streets, where you know, check us out. You know, with uh, with the two man show, Digital Streets, this Sunday, um, twelve p.m. and shit like that. But this time it's gonna be on on Zaire's channel, mm-hmm. All right? And then uh, finally, my man, yo, sick. What's going on, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This your boy Pierre from Sick Humor TV, and uh, man, good, good uh, podcast, man. Listen. For all y'all out there who think I got a problem with anybody, I ain't got no problem with nobody, bro. Nobody at all. Like, man, I'm, 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 I'm really about what I say I'm about. Like, if I say I mean something, I mean it. Hey, you ain't really gonna change my mind unless you can come with a great argument. So, you know, that's why I stand, bro. Like, that's it. You know what, man? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get K Mega after your ass. Oh boy, that'd be an easy one. <laughs> he get blown out, man. Oh, oh man, don't even bring that shit up, bro. Yeah. Yo, I'm, like, I'm blown like, out, man. I'm on this close to buy Madden just because y'all Xbox dudes are making y'all. Y'all got this dude head. Yeah, I may have to play this guy. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yo, anyway, so that's it. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm, I'm the dude that got his shit together. Cheap ass bastard with a 401k. Yeah, I'm out this motherfucker. Up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm out. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed the 60 Frames No Like podcast. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Oh. <laughs>